Good evening, one and all. It's Sunday, it's the end of the week, and that of course means it's time for us to jump on to some more of good old Warframe. Hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing today? Hopefully you're doing well way while around the world. Hello there, Gorilla. Hello, Squabo. With your hydrate as well. Oh, you're eating Karakop to the punch this time. Cheers on that, Squabo. Hmm. Yep, you're eating Karakop, who's definitely not happy about that. <laughs> Hello Karakop, hello there Forecast, hello Vlad, hello there Ladybug, hello Cosmo, hello Hotari, hello F-King. How are we all doing? Ooh. Hey ho. Hey ho indeed, hello there Adam Alec. thank you very much for getting off the subscriptions on the stream here with a 13 month resub. Adam Alec, I really do appreciate it and here's a sip to you my dude. Thank you. Mm. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Karakop saying don't take my title, I'm in Karakop. You gotta keep on top of it, you know? Those who put in the effort reap the reward. That's how it goes. Those who put in the effort reap the reward. Hello there, Star Soul. How you doing? Welcome in one all. So yeah, uh, apparently Cosmo didn't notice. Anyone else didn't notice? Nightwave is ending. Nightwave ends in two days, 23 hours. So uh, by this time next stream, there won't be one. Or at least, Nora's Mix Volume 2 will be gone. I don't know if Volume 3 starts straight away. I imagine it does, but this one will be gone. Karakop, thanks for the hydrate. You got there. In the end, you got there. Yeah, I've got a few uh, creds to spend. I've got some f challenges left to do, so you know what? That's uh, that's the plan today. We'll send off this night wave with a, a good old finish on it. Hello, Zom. How you doing? Now, before we get into all that, of course, of course, we do have to jump in on the good old sortie. It's tradition. So if you want to be part of today's sortie today, just send me a messaging game, the engineer. I'll bring you on into the squad and we'll go through today's sortie. We have a rescue with enemy physical enhancement. We have an exterminate with extra stronghold. That's going to be a good one for focus and leveling. And then we have a survival with enemy elemental enhancement. Slightly less good. Slightly less good. So let's bring these guys in. We got Karakop, we got Sephiroth Rage, and we got one more spot available for anyone who wants to join in. Not fair enough, Reno. That's a bit of watch time you got there, my dude. That is a bit of watch time, yeah. I say the thing is weak between volume two and volume three starting. Ah, fair do, fair do. Yeah, so uh, volume two ending in two days, but uh, yeah, it doesn't say when the one starts on here, so we just have to click through and find out, don't we? We have to click through and find out. Now, oh, well, we'll we'll find out. It'll it'll pop up soon enough. Hello, wrapped this afternoon, Ken. Probably going to be doing a lurking today. Sunday's my busy day at work. Fair do. But welcome in all the same. You enjoy your luck. You enjoy your luck. Grill away of the five days, 20 hours watch time, three days, favor of the crow, seven days, max and badge. I don't yeah, no one's challenging Rainover's 10 so far. No one's challenging Rainover's 10. I think I probably have the highest watch time. If I do watch time myself, let's see what happens. I'm curious. How high does it go? 27 days, three hours. Just a little bit, chat. There you are, that, that's the score to beat. <laughs> that is the score to beat. Hattari, come on in. Oops, I accidentally closed all. I hate that! Come on! Invite Hattari Hell. God, why is one option right next to the other like that? That's so goddamn. I'm tired today, chat. I have had some terrible sleep the last couple of nights. I am exhausted. So uh, I'm definitely going to make mistakes like that today. When is Nightwave ending? In less than three days. In less than three days. That's me out of streaming. Uh, something like that, probably, Karakov. Something like that. At least as long as the boss cared to measure, uh, however accurately or not. Just somewhere along that line. Let me just equip some actual proper stuff here real quickly. There we go. Don't need all that stuff that I was just demonstrating. Bits and pieces. Uh, well, you'll see in the video that comes out later on. And that video is actually currently processing. Let's see, how's that video doing? Is it processing or processed? Come on, YouTube. You were processing five minutes ago, but let's check anyway. Oh, it's processed. All right. Well, you know what, chat? At the end of stream today, I'll make that video go live then. End of stream today, there'll be a video ready and waiting for your all. So we won't need to do a raid then, will we? It's a triple win. I was going to say, I had a rough sleep last night too, come down with some sort of play. Yeah, a cold or something has swept through my household. It is draining me. 
on top of uh, slamming through the work. Uh, Zom with the 19 days watch time. Yep, that's a... Uh, ooh, that is definitely putting it right the way up there. I, I don't think anyone's going to really beat that one without being the stream of themselves. Vlad on a very cool 10 hours, 50 minutes. You know it's on a shorter time when you get the minutes added onto it. <laughs> I don't know, just got level 30 and I wave in three weeks. Oh, nice. Very nicely done. All right, chat. So, let's get started with... Oh, apparently we're switching frame already. Uh, I know it's a Eagle has picked. Uh, Weaver Ivara, please. Weaver Ivara? The hell does Weaver Ivara mean? Am I having a stroke? Weaver Ivara. Is that where I just put up as many dash wires as I can and call it a day? And apparently also keep my snakes. Um, come on, Lavos. Stop doing this. It's not, Lavos puts the snakes on everything. Ah, uh, the zip lines. Okay. Seriously, what is this? So cursed, this game at times. So bloody cursed. But sure, we'll do it. All right. Uh, if we're going zip lines, you know what? We're not doing a spy mission, so... Let's slot in and bow quick, Yeah, Nidus gives you a pimp on your neck. Lavos gives you snakes on your arms. Doesn't have the same ring to it, but you know, he does it anyway. You he doesn't need your approval. And the Avarian to Medusa? Mm. I mean, I suppose that would be more Atlas's ability, but you know, it's it's along the way. Atlas is the Gorgon frame. I'd say I started watching less than 10 streams ago. Ah, well, there we are then, Vlad. Yeah, yeah. Welcome in all the same. Pet the snake. The snakes pet themselves pretty uh, handily. They just slide under your hands and uh, the petting happens, whether you like it or not. All right, there's zip wire number one. Zip wire number two. I got a bridge. Zip wire number three. I don't know when it became a challenge to make zip lines, but you know, that that's what I'm doing. I should probably be invisible. Ivara should almost certainly be invisible. What am I doing? Oh god, that gas might kill me. Release the the and of course I don't have infiltrate, so I actually just triggered yet more stuff, didn't I? Whoops. But at least I can sprint along this. And launch myself forward. I always forget about that launch. You are running out of time. No! I'm just gonna roll past everything and hope for the best. Is how you wish Pathfinder works in Apex? I mean, Pathfinder kind of works this way because his ultimate is to set up a zip line. So it works very similar. And then he's got Valkyrie's one, but better. So uh, Pathfinder is actually kind of doing well for that whole side of stuff. His passive is terrible, but well. Oh, guess I don't need to hack this anymore. Valkyrie Brawler? No, Valkyrie is feral. Valkyrie is absolutely feral. She just whips out her claws and goes absolutely insane on you. She has no concept of... Uh, tactics to it. She just screams and bites your face off. Or claws your face off. Or whatever she feels like at that moment in time. Pretty much she finds a way to remove your face. Claws optional. That is Valkyrie. There we go. You got your zip lines, Chocodica. You got your zip lines. And Donna saying, hey man, greetings from Italy. Welcome in, my dude. Welcome in. Greetings from the UK. You would love to see uh, jiu-jitsu or taekwondo? I mean, the stances, really. That's what they should be. Stances for different uh, fist weapons. That's what I imagine that would be, Rainuva. Oh, right, there we are. One mission down, two to go on today. Sorty. Let's grab the next pick a frame request, which is from Karakop for a speed of vault. So just default vault. Yep. 
We got speed, we got more speed. What more could we want? Actually, you know what? I know what more we could want. We could want a swishy slashy Beyblade. That, that'll do it. Swishy slashy Beyblade. Oh, the crossing. Imagine how crazy it'd be if you could fly on, high on a zipline as often as a bar. Yeah, please no. Please no. Let's not have Pathfinder become any more obnoxious with his ziplining, please. It's bad enough sometimes. The juking that some high skill players can do on that game just completely ruins me every time. But haha, he just went over there. Well, he used his zip five seconds ago so I can push around the corner and get him. Oh, he's up and gone again. Right. Well, it's a good thing I'm a character with absolutely no vertical mobility, so I can't catch this Becca. <laughs> That's what it's like dealing with Pathfinder. Melee! Everything! Just pull the melee. I didn't even bring Naramon, so this might actually turn out terrible, but whatever. Yo, Kraken, say first time catching you a stream. Love the YouTube content. Well, welcome on in, my dude. Hope you enjoy the stream after you. I need something to stab or I'm going to lose my combo! I think I said it's Yeah, I said it's Ooh, I'm ripping some of my efforts. Yeah, this definitely qualifies as speed vault, doesn't it? When you consider the amount of speed actually going on here, this definitely qualifies. I mean, Pathfinder does have a big hitbox, but honestly, when people say he's got a fridge hitbox, most fridges do not fly through the air like an eagle, approximately piloting a blimp. Seriously, a good Pathfinder is terrifying to deal with if you haven't got some way to keep up with that mobility yourself. Now, if you're not playing something exceedingly meta, like Seer to detect where they go, or uh, Horizon to just lift yourself up above every form of cover too. It actually gets terrible. It really does. I mean, a lot of it comes down to just matching skill tiers, but uh, Apex doesn't try to match skill tiers, so... I bought a little plat player, or gold plat. I think I'm plat. Yeah, I, think I play at that level, but anyway, a little plat player might make. Comes up against a diamond or master who mains. Pathy. I ain't got a chance. I genuinely do not have a chance. They run, well, fly circles around me. Yeah, I get your reference there, fella. <laughs> Definitely some MC vibes right there. I haven't mentioned that the current and Prime are pretty good. Oh, I'm taking a nasty heat rock. Oh, my bad. It's not actually that nasty, but it is. A bit. It hit a bit. Uh, oh, that is a nice bit of focus. I'm not even trying to get focus. And um, what was that like? 15k total? Somewhere around there. That was juicy. Because we've still got the Affinity Booster rock in for the uh, Weekend, haven't we, as well? The weekend Affinity Booster, Exma Strong Cold Exterminate. Oh. Oh. It is gorgeous. Yeah, if you don't like farming focus in normal ways, that's the way to do it today. Look at the totals on that. It's... Uh, 19,000, 24,000, near to 25,000 focus in a three minute mission. That's pretty decent. That is pretty decent, all told. And that's with no Smeeter. Uh, I don't think I have a normal affinity booster. Nope, so I don't have a normal affinity booster. I don't have the relay blessing. There are loads of ways you can make that even nastier. Or nicer, depending on your perspective. Alright, so we're on to our third and final mission, which was the... I've forgotten. Let me have a look. Survival. With electricity damage from the enemies. Okay. 
survival, electricity, you know what, Lavos. Lavos is good. Prediction? Yeah, let's get the prediction up and going. That's a good idea, Squirbo. And kudos for calling it the right thing, loads of people like to call it a poll. No, it's prediction. What reward do you think we'll get today, chat? Make your predictions with your lovely blue channel points at the bottom of the channel window there, the chat window, I should say. I am I going to get a ribbon? Is it going to be an acid sculpture? Is it going to be a legendary reward? You never know, it could be. It's only uh, one in, what, like, 500 chance? 5,000 chance? Some of stupid. I think it's like one in 500. No, oh, Gorilla thinks it's going to be a former. Okay. Uh, they put 500 spanners to that prediction right there. Cool. One half thousand has been gambled by Cosmo on a Riven. It's a common pickup, so they could be right. Plenty of spanners up for grabs today, guys. If you want to gamble on one of the ones which are got no bets whatsoever. So right now we've got uh, Catalyst and Reactor and Legendary Core all have zero bets on them. A lone tenno operator is raiding this ship for supplies. You are here to distract the enemy. You know, say always betting ten, always on the lowest. See, that's how you choose the system. If you're wrong, it doesn't matter. If you're right, you win big. Unless someone else bets big on your one. But mostly you win big. Also, Corpus, have some toxin. Oh, that is just cheating. Actually, no, no, they've got elemental enhancements, but it's not that cheating today. But it still feels good. It still feels good. Is it me, or does it look like I'm getting a lot of non-crits? It does look like I'm getting a lot of non-crits. Hmm. Weird. I might have to check my build. Maybe I broke something. I thought my crit rate was with my ribbon. I thought it was like 100% on it. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm too tired. Let's bring out. Uncle Crew. And Karakop's down. I'm tired, Karakop's dead. Yeah, he, he one-ups me there. Karakop wins the uh, falling over race. It's been a long week for me. The video that's coming out at the end of stream today is the longest Warframe video I have ever put out. Currently that title goes to the video I did on the AoE meta, which is at, I think 21 minutes long. The one that's coming out today, definitely longer than that. Is it the Sentinel video? It is! It is going to be the Sentinel video, yeah. I finally got around to going, you know what, let's talk about these things that you get really early on as companions. People keep on, uh, say all kinds of interesting things about them. Some people shit on them, others go, well, they're all right. But, uh, yeah, Sentinels are actually pretty decent things. If anyone tells you that Sentinels are useless, they need to pay attention to what my character Prime does on a day-to-day -day basis. I do get the feeling that if someone says that Sentinels just can't survive, there's a good chance they're actually trying to use Jin, which can't survive. <laughs> Jin is terrible. Jin is a absolutely horrible Sentinel. Now, I'll tell you more about that in the video, but uh, yeah. Would not recommend to anyone. That includes Endurance Runners. Just use a different companion if your Sentinel's dying. Any update with the Spectres? Uh, that hasn't been a priority for a while, so I've focused on, uh, obviously, other stuff. Ah, Karakop's down again. Karakop, what's going on? What, what's he using this time? Karakop is using Sarin for Brief Respite. Okay, well, I mean... Some refinements on that build, perhaps, or... Maybe it's a Petgak. Something's going on there. But it's, it's part of the course for Karakop. I'm not going to get one shot or anything because there's no face lasers here today. Hello brother Ernie, how you doing? It's my build? Yeah? I, I don't die with my build, Skarakop. You're the one who dies with my build, it's not me. Which confirms it's a Pedgak. Excellent. Weird heart emoji? Heart emoji? Where's the heart emoji? We put, I don't see a heart emoji. I'm just running around getting shot at whilst trying to figure out where a heart emoji is. I see a smile. And then a frown. 
I see Korok up with their lovely golden present. Might be plugging going weird. Ah, okay. Mouse over it then, brother Ronnie. If you mouse over it, it should tell you what's been converted into a emote. Because I've got, uh, I think it's BTDB. And I'm not seeing anything like that. So you might be using one of the other ones. Struggling with Sarah and use uh, crowd control. I know, fourth axe is a bit of crowd control, but yeah. Just generally kill the enemies so quick that you don't need to tank is the idea. If I recall correctly, the Saren build that I put out was a... For the love of God, do not give the enemies a chance build. You're supposed to kill them quick enough that it's no longer a problem build. That's what that build was. The enemy is shooting, you yeah, messed up. Which is a bit harder against the corpus because, yeah, nullifies are everywhere. Nullifies just ruin your day. Condemn for easy gates. Yeah, condemn works. Where is that guy? Where is he? He's standing there somewhere. Where is that guy? How do you... Ah! Ha ah, ah, ha! Ah. You thought you could hide! But now you die. Okay, maybe he does not die that easily. Laser beam, go! That works. <laughs> and glade finish. Yeah, just a few extra viral rocks. Until you finish. That worked. And I fell. How did I fall through that gap? I don't... That doesn't look big enough to let Lavos fall through. In fact, I can't... There we go. How did I manage to fall through that gap? Oh, dear, dear, dear. Uh, you came across a Moraine Corpus Railjack at 99% damage reduction. Oh, yeah. Railjack enemies are just bullshit. The Grenier ones are well stronger than their level would suggest. Level already is relatively meaningless in Warframe, but their Warframe devs just went, you know what we could do? Rather than raising the level of enemies, let's just raise their base stats and lie about the level system. Which is a bit unfair. And then the Corpus one's like, you know what? What if we just make them resistant to like four different damage types, invisibly, and also just make them tank like hell? Wouldn't that be fun? Most games use a level system where the level is the difficulty of the enemy. Warframe doesn't do that. Warframe just lies to you. <laughs> nope, my door shut, just I shot. Oh, bloody. Guardian Xmas. The bane of my existence, these ones. Because they are genuinely a pain to hit. Until you get through them. They give out so much damage reduction. There we are. Going to double cast my four. What are we going to do about that? I already said, so I thought it could be an interesting augment for Lavos. Here we are. Uh... I don't know if which ability passes for what. You imbue a weapon damage with your imbue damage at 75%. Uh, that would give Lavos every single element freely, which I have the impression Dean just don't want to do. Because you've already got things like Shock Trooper, uh, Smite Infusion, you got the ones for uh, Lavos, for Saren, not Lavos, for Ember, for Saren, for Frost, which all give out 100% element. 75% of any element of your choice isn't actually that much of a, uh, a trade-off. I'd be surprised if that became enormous, to be quite honest with you. It seems like the obvious one, but it would actually just be ridiculously powerful. Ridiculously versatile. Oh, oh, oh. That's uh, Grendel doing Grendel things. Yep. Grendel does not die in these missions very easily. Oh, yeah, let's go. 
I can see them on the moon map. They all seem to be running away from me, which is a bit weird. There we are. Someone's Panzer Fox keeps on going down and up. Meanwhile, my carrier prime is still at full health, full shields, you know? Tell me Sentinels are weak. Rendell Ooing. Again, just a part of his kit. I mean, you get used to him using that uh, interesting thing. Isn't Octavia super painful to farm? Uh, Octavia's a pretty nasty survival farm, yeah. 20 minutes for a single uh, piece, and if you don't get it, there's no mitigation, you just go again. Oh, Karakop. Darling, you shouldn't have all these lovely warm bodies just And he decides to die as I'm get there. I'm the luckiest well. girl in the system. That's someone summoning the Lich? Oh yeah, that's a summoned Lich, or summoned due to death's Lich. Hands box again. My sentinel has finally got down to half health. Let's see how long it takes him to get back to full again. There's also a week if you don't try to avoid damage. No, no, if you let the damage get shot at you, your sentinel mostly handles it. The thing is, is if you get uh, status procs, which are AoEs, that's when it becomes a big problem. Or if you use a sentinel which drags enemies on to attacking them into you. Because like, if I have an electric proc on me, then my sentinel is in range of that electric proc and takes the damage instantly from the proc as well. So that's bad news. Same for a gas proc. But if I get hit with, say, heat, toxin, slash, none of that goes through to it. And yeah, rhino with the resistance to procs prevents a lot of that. Likewise, Lavos with the... Uh, semi-frequent uh, status resistance he gets, or we'll status immunity. Sort it out as well. Uh, did I test out Hellstrom? I saw the stats on it in Cordia Day. There are two correct sentinels. Uh, sorry, two correct sentinel weapons. Hellstrom here. Yeah, that's the uh, micro-missiles. Which, alright, cool. You got micro missiles. It fires a burst of them, but then it's a long time on the refire. I just knew we could make this relationship work. <laughs> so you've got the occasional clusters of the missiles. I say that doesn't really do it. Yeah, there, there are two correct uh, Sentinel weapons. I cover that in the uh, video that'll be coming out. There are just two correct ones, and you all know one of them. And today we get a melee Riven. So let's see. Once again, Cosmo gambling 1,500. And gambling on the correct side, I think. So you're going to get back over five times as much there, Cosmo. You and two others on the winning side today. It's a melee Riven. Ta-da! River never loses, except when it does, yeah. Never loses, except when it does. Alrighty then, chat. So, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we are at the... Oh, okay. Alright. We are at the very end of the Night Wave. And, you know, I, I've been doing some of them. They just kind of happen. The scanned enemies, well, that happened as a nature of the video. Obviously, showing you off Helios. Finding somewhere I hadn't scanned enemies... Consistently enough that I could properly demonstrate it happening was interesting. There we are. Don't use elemental frames and attacks on enemy elemental enhancements. Yeah, that also is a problem, Gorokop. That is. Plus the electric box can be nasty. Uh, so yeah, we've got the scan objects done already. 30 Xmas, well obviously that happened. That's easy. Unlock three relics, too be easy. Convert some river slivers into a river mod. I didn't even realise that was a challenge. I just popped down to uh, Iron Wake. Or mentioned it, I was like, oh yeah, I'll go down there. And then bam, that'll happen. Like, oh, okay. 
But I still have all of these to do, and it'll rotate out some more as well. Wait, <gasps> we're waiting. Yata Shimajiri has just said wait. Why are all the options she offers you the credits? Ah, uh, because I've already gone through the entire rest of it. I've already done all of that, and so I'm into the so-called prestige tiers. That's why. Where's a good place to farm plastids? Well, uh, let's see. Where we get plastids from? Plastids you can get from a number of different places. If you set yourself to resource drones when you're looking at a planet, you can see what resources come from there, such as plastids come from Pluto. So if you do, for example, uh, that's uh, a normal mode to so just not have the weird stuff. Do so you see a resource drop chance you can get on this tile? So you could do the defense against the infestation there. You could do the excavation again, a resource drop chance boost there. So you could do the infested on those two. That can give you some stuff. Alternatively, I think uh, which one's the survival? What was the survival around here? It's probably that. Nope, that's the. There's a the survival. There's a the survival. Or you can do the survival over there as well. It's a palace. That's another place for. Uh, Plastids, and it's the same kind of missions you're looking for on other planets which have plastids. Best to check the wiki if you're not sure what those are and don't want to check for yourself. That's will be your way to get plastids. Alright, let's see then. Uh, so, open lockers. Oh, apparently I've just not done that at all in the last couple of days, so I'll get onto that. Uh, we need to do a relic. Your enemies while riding a K drive? What's the bet? Your AD doesn't count for that. Polarize a weapon companion or warframe. Oh dear. Uh, do sabotage missions and do some dragon keys. Alright, let's polarize something. What am I going to polarize, chat? What am I going to polarize today? Andrea, cheers. Appreciate it. You ready? Does count? Okay. I mean, sod it. Let's get things sorted then. We'll bring out your ready for the one of few times I shall. If there's a K-Dro challenge, might as well. It means I don't have to go into an open world to do it. Form a Bone Widow? Pass. Just absolute pass on that. Uh, he had to say Bubonico? I could do Bubonico. I don't think I use the Bubonico, so why not? Oh, not Bun. Bub. Boo, Bonico. Have I even put a potato into this? I have. It has a patat. A singular patat. Well, sure, why not? I'm not seeing any other better suggestions, so sod it. There we go. Wow. Super fun if you get a multi-shot ribbon. Well, I do not have a multi-shot ribbon. I swear, if that turned out to have been multi-shot, I would have been pissed. Wait. No, okay. <laughs> I didn't realise I had not one but two Bubonico Rivens. Turns out both of them are not multi-shot. There we are. Okay, I almost look like an absolute idiot rather than just a bit of an idiot. Right, well, okay. I can't fit either of those. They're both 10 drain. I've got eight. Yep. That, that's my excuse now. Um, What should I put on here? What have we got? We've got a viral setup so far. Old viral. Snake Raider. Cheers. Charge rate nerf made this weapon feel a lot worse. Didn't they revert things? Or was I can't remember which one, which of the particular nerfs. There's been a load of nerfs with the weapons over time. Uh, what can I put into here? You know what? Let's just turn it into. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, it's vicious spread. I don't know why I thought that was a toxin thing. No. In which case, putting that in is no good. Let's do that one then. More viral. All the viral. Extra viral. Here you hear you get your viral right here. There we are. And let's see, so I'm gonna do the K drive one. We can do a sabotage one. And if there's a relic going around, I can do a sabotage K drive locker thing all in one go. Look at the efficiency we're doing here. Look at that. Oh, and where there we go. That is efficiency right there, chat. That is efficiency. Except wait, I think I've done a lith relic. Blast. Uh, is there a steel path sabotage? Ah, uh, why would there be? That would be too convenient. Okay, no, I've done lift, so that's definitely not what we're looking for. I might as well just do lift anyway because sabotage. We have to do sabotage. So, might as well. Let's bring a radiant. Might as well just knock this out of the park.
Hey, it's good to have you back, Snake Raider. It is absolutely good to have you back. Hope you're doing well. <sighs> yeah, I just don't really use the Bubonico. Not for any particular reason, I just don't. I just don't. I keep on meaning to change my ship and I keep forgetting to. I've got to change my ship. It's just not sleek enough, chat. It's just not sleek enough. Gotta get rid of it. Yes, yeah, Skyrocop, it's working now. Okay, you're looking for the mainframe. Alright, let's go! Oh good, this does count for K-Drive kills. There we are then. And there is a locker. They are both lockers. Well, I suppose they are lockers. Oh, hang on. Stuff happening back here. What's happening back here, then? Things. I'm doing my absolute best to control this warframe here. Oh, come on. That dash forwards should give so much more momentum than it does. Because it dashes forwards and then just loses the momentum. It just throws me off every time. Anyway, fear not, guys. I am here with the thing. I have to get off this to put it in. When you're just trying to play the game, the game says, not turn off your abilities. I'm just going to ignore the fact that I missed that guy. Can I sit through here? Oh, I can sit through here. There we are. Alright, there we are. Well, That's enough of that. Well. Looks like some Got the K-Drives. No more of that happening now. That's it. Now get out of here. Oh, looks like the uh, mission's been done. Oh, the knockback. The knockback. Grab a locker. First locker I've grabbed in a couple days, but there you are. Did that just bounce off it? Huh. It bounces off it. Found a use for you, really? Yeah, you really was always going to be used on the uh, the silly challenges, wouldn't you? Wait. Got this map as long, and they brought Titania. There we are. Hey, Harrow Prime Blueprint. Why not? I'll pick up that one. I'll pick up that one. Might have a Harrow set now. Not sure. I'd be sure if I opened up a certain app, but I've got to do that. Uh, Dragon State Inspire, I'm thinking of taking a long break. I mean, fair enough, dude. If you are... If you're struggling with FOMO and you want to take a break, then you take a break, mate. Struggle with FOMO, take a break. A big part with managing any kind of live service game is understanding how to play for yourself, not for others. Do I use Warframe Info? Uh, from time to time, when I remember to. When I remember to. Warframe Info wouldn't tell me if I was completing a whole set there, however. That'd be a lecker frame. Yeah. Uh, if anyone wants to say that Eurady is in a perfectly fine spot and doesn't deserve any slander, remember that Eurady is actually getting a uh, major overhaul of some of her abilities, so uh, until that happens, she clearly needs it. She clearly needs it. Velox, Karakop, you know there isn't a Velox video. You know there isn't one. 
I started on doing one, and then I discovered the stack decay bug, and then I had to wait for that to get sorted. And then other things happened with the fell arcs to break it, including some of the evolutions failing. And now that's been sorted, and then I've had other sorts of focus on like Archon Shards. The fell arcs got mention. It, it got its moment. It got a build in the how to one-shot an Archon, and that that's it. That's it for now. Grumpy Pants? Sure, you can take the empty slot. Come on in. Of course, reminding people about the market search. Yep, yep. I should probably do a short about this sometime. I should probably do a short about this one. Because if you search trash in the market, yeah. This, this is what you get. This is what you get when you search trash in the market, which is always hilarious to me. <laughs> oh, it's a stupid little thing. Obviously, it's not because trash leads to Eurali, but we don't need to talk about that. We don't need to be, you know, reasonable about this. We're mocking a Warframe. Why would we ever want to be reasonable when we're mocking more a Warframe? Uh, Drago asking, do you think the direction of Warframe will somewhat change with the new leadership? I'm kind of hopeful about them actually integrating the content islands. Uh, Drago, I think the direction of Warframe will change because there are different people leading. In what direction? I can't tell you because I don't know. Will it be a change that you like? I don't know. Will it be a change you don't like? I don't know. If anything, what I would strongly recommend is that you focus on what is rather than what might be. Because focusing on what might be when you are not the one making it into is, it's just wishful thinking. It's just fanfics. And everyone suffers from this. Absolutely everyone suffers from this. Until you catch yourself, until you realize what you're doing, everyone suffers from this in... All parts of life. You have this big old unknown that offers change and people project change onto it. Either a good change if they're hoping for good change or a bad change if they're fearful of it. Without the details as to what actually is going to happen. So instead, hold out for what is okay. and if you like what happens, enjoy it. If you don't like what happens, then don't enjoy it, I guess. Don't worry yourself about the nature of a certain leadership, this, that, the other. Unless you have something specific and concrete to say, this is a terrible idea. Like, if Elon Musk were to buy out Warframe, then yes, you'd go, well, this thing's dead. But unless you get something as clear-cut as that, don't worry about it. Just take the updates as they come. That's the best way to do it. I'm saying that with a lot of experience and trying to predict how a certain developer here or there will do a certain thing with a certain game. Oh. Um, we need someone to bring the data mask. Well, so you do. Let me nuke the area. Your target is the reactor. How does everyone feel about the car weapons? I haven't really done a lot with them, I'll be quite honest with you. They've kind of sat in my inventory and I could have looked into them, I just haven't got around to it. Yeah, Musk won't buy Warframe, don't worry. Musk won't buy Warframe. We aren't the right kind of people, and we're not the right kind of income. And we didn't all collectively create a social media website where we told him he was an idiot his face. So, <laughs> he'll handle himself elsewise. Uh, I'm not sure on that song. I'm not sure. I mean, we'll have to see the details on Grendel's comparison, but rework usually involves going back to the drawing board and changing uh, at least one, normally more than one, ability in its entirety, like completely reinventing it. You look at the change to, for example, Ember or Wukong, that's a rework. Whereas, say, for example, uh, changing stats here or there. Like buffing an ornament or changing the width of something, giving something an additional feature, or just restraining how it operates. That's not a rework. What is the thing right now I'd most like to see implemented? Oh, that's that's a that's an interesting question right there, Drago. That is a very interesting question. Oh, so look at that gold piece straight away. Noish. I can't give you a answer you'll probably be satisfied with that, but... 
I don't know, honestly. I don't know. The biggest thing that annoys me more on anything in this game is the polish. Or lack thereof. There are... I feel an increasing number of elements that are in need of polish. Like, that ship just went through the rock face there. Graphical elements, gameplay elements, uh, synergy elements, stability elements. There is an increasing amount of uh, scuff, which needs polish. I tried doing some railjack the other day. First we were a friend. Uh, a friend was running with his railjack as he was host. Very low level, so it didn't go too well. He didn't notice that the ship was being destroyed and I thought he'd said he'd set his engineer crew to fix it so ship got destroyed what this then did is the following missions first he couldn't interact with anything he got lock hard locked and the doors wouldn't open for me on my railjack and then after we reset the entire instance uh, things broke yet another way and then when I played some solo later on I had a mission where not enough cruise ships spawned there were just five cruise ships but I had to kill six I flew around the entire place only five cruise ships. I've not had that one happen before. Warframe has a, an increasing amount of polish issues, I would say. That's why I'd like to see fixed, but I know that doesn't sell uh, skins. Alright, complete bounties on the Zaraman. Open one of each type of relic. Well, I've definitely done the Lith and Miso. No, I've definitely done Lith. I don't know if I've done Miso. Does it tell me which ones I've not done? It does not. Excellent. Well, let's do Axie and take it from there. Railjack's always been buggy as hell. It's been buggy, yes, and the initial release was terrible. It got better, but there are still a considerable number of issues. I, I would say, honestly, the fact that Railjack has the go straight from one mission to another, 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 to another. That whole idea, with the way it's been implemented, just shows that it wasn't an appropriate idea for the engine they're working with. That's the way I see it. Because it's still discrete missions, kind of forced together to look more single outing. And what it ends up doing is putting your items at risk, compounding the bugs that happen, forcing you back to dry dock, not to fix up your ship or anything or to restock, but because you are getting bugs and issues. And it just... It just feels like there is a better way. It just feels like there was a better way to put it together. That whoever was in charge could have looked at the design they'd given and what the engineers could actually do and should have gone, actually, wait, no. Nice, but no. Uh, since we're speaking of Railjack, should we do some Void Storms? Um, no. Because I don't want more books today. I got frustrated with Warframe recently just trying to get the footage for the video coming out today because at times it just decided to be a dick it really did that gets a bit draining i've had a long week i'm feeling rough i'll be quite honest with you today chat and if railjack started bugging out on us and running challenges i just... uh, that would get to me I think that would actually get to me today. I don't want to be negative, Nancy. I know I'm already being a bit negative, but yeah. And there's an armor face laser. Yeah, that added to it. Yeah, we had the armor face laser incident on Wednesday. That was fun. And the other bugs that happened in and around that. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. Tano, you are here to infiltrate data I've just brought Lavos to a spy mission. Enemy information. Might be a bad idea. Yeah, Railjack is a good game mode when it doesn't bug out. Railjack is genuinely into Bethesda levels of bugging out, which is not ideal. Yo! What is ideal, however, is Sleep Death here coming in with the Prime subscription. Sleep Death, thank you very, very much. I do appreciate that. Yeah, let me give you a sip in your honor. Ah. Cheers. Enjoy your lovely new blue badge. You're about to go with it. Your access to the Supporter Tea Lounge, and your ad free viewing here on the channel. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Alright, it looks like we've split off to go do the vaults, which is um, not really the way you do a spy fisher. You should really stick together until the uh, 
the squad as a reactant. Otherwise, it can make the spawns a bit problematic, especially for the people who head towards C. But we'll see how it goes down. We'll see how it goes down. Grumpy Pants is on three reactants. Up on Rage on four. Karakop on six. I'm going to see if I can get some more enemies in this area, although it looks like they've decided to stop spawning, which is exactly the problem. Oh, I think I saw some this way. There are some that way, but I don't know how to get that way. Uh, Nama face laser? Yeah, when the Nama units kind of have this orange glow on them, they go, what? and then just fire this catch moon looking projectile slowly at you. Which they are, by the way, very bad at aiming. Very, very bad at aiming, but they still do it. Can you guys get corrupted? That'd be great. That is, that is not getting corrupted. That is dying to carry her. Great. Alright, cool. Reactant. This is going to be fun. But yeah, it turns out that the Nama face lasers, for example, are client size, which can lead to all kinds of bugs. We're not even sure what bugs are going to happen there. We only experienced some of them. I imagine there is plenty to be had with a client side enemy weapon. That was interesting. We don't even know if that's simulacrum only or not because testing it would be an absolute nightmare. From passing, went away straight away, planning on getting reactor for the way back. Yeah, we got the reactors in the end, so it has worked out. It's just. My experience has been it's usually ideal to stick together. The spawns stay on the players because all four are together. You get all the reactant because it's a shared thing and then you go your ways. It's usually the most efficient of those missions. I've had many a public mission where it's led to issues. Oh, I got a click bubble. Thank you. Uh... YTK a sniper. I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce verse after that, but sure. Uh, hey, it's so a quick question. I played Warframe on Xbox ML19 with a lot of stuff. Should I wait to play Warframe on PC to transfer an account, or should I start fresh? If you want to play on PC, start fresh. If you want to play on Xbox, go back to your Xbox account. Don't wait for crossplay because we don't know how long it's going to take. When crossplay was first announced as, oh god, they're actually working on it. Right up until that moment, I would have told you that crossplay was never happening. Because it did seem exceedingly unlikely the way Warframe was set up. But they've made steps towards it. To the point that we have crossplay now, but not cross save. But we still don't know how long it's going to take. It's taken us, what, over a year since the initial announcement to get here? Well over a year? Don't hold out. Do not hold out. Instead, choose the platform you got and then play it. Uh, Drew say recently had the idea of one main problems of Warframe, lack of good failure state. Comes with so many complaints, power creep, XP units being immune, even missions. Hmm. I'm not sure that really grabs it appropriately the way go, but fair enough. I mean, to remind you, as you said yourself not half hour ago, in fact, what? 15 minutes ago said to be honestly thinking about taking a long break don't try to find a way the game should be fixed if you are lucky to take a break then this goes to everyone for everything in terms of games just games don't apply this relationships that's different but in terms of games don't look at a way to try and fix it because you're not the person who can fix it you aren't you're not paid to fix it your voice isn't going to be heard anywhere near as loudly as you might hope yeah, sometimes things do get heard through social media and whatnot, but mostly it doesn't go that way. Even down to content creators. Content creators, believe it or not, do not shape the world. <laughs> there are some people that believe that what a content creator says suddenly becomes law and that the devs are going to bend over backwards to make it happen. No, they don't. Certainly not in this game. There may be some games where the devs are stupid enough to do that, but mostly no. That doesn't happen. Devs try to create the game in the way that it works for them, but also is the most profitable. Those are the two competing factors in their designs. And yeah, they are competing. <laughs> Good and profitable are not always on the same side. 
So if you find yourself looking at a game and going, I'm not enjoying this, then stop. Don't push yourself to try and enjoy it again. Don't force yourself to keep up with this and that and the other. The game is still going to be there. Or in the slim chance that it's not going to be there, your opinions on how it could have done it better aren't going to be there. Seriously. Uh, will I ever play some different games on Twitch? I do on Fridays, Drago. Uh, they get voted for over in the Supporter Tea Lounge. So that is... If I just switch me a thingamajiggies around here. So that, that is this Tea Lounge over here. This this one that you guys can't access. You see, this is the one that uh, if you are not a supporter, you see that one. But it, this is actually a fake. There are two Tea Lounges. You can only see the one that you have access to. That That's how I give you the access it's it's a jury rig access <laughs> but yeah i put the votes in every week or near enough every week sometimes i just choose so if you want to see something specific saffron rage is trying to be on stream if you want to see something specific or just otherwise have more direct communication with myself this is the place to do it this is the place to do it you always wondered how that worked yeah <laughs> Jury rigged it in. Which is annoying for the mods because we see doubled up channels wherever that feature is used. But otherwise, yeah. So, you see not Warframe for me on Fridays. And if you want to choose what it is, unlike games where you can't choose what happens in them, here you can. Join the Supporter Tea Lounge, either by subscribing here on Twitch, by becoming a member on YouTube, by becoming a Patreon supporter. Any of those three at any tier gives you access to the Supporter Tea Lounge. And from there, you get to have a much more direct say on the channel and everything I do. Much more direct. And you'll catch things there that will not happen anywhere else, or will not be shared anywhere else, absolutely. Uh, if one wants to suggest a video idea, will they use that channel? No, for that, for that, oh, let me grab back the uh, screen, I just switched them all around. For that, if we're talking about that one, what you want to do is go just below the support team lounge, so there's this one here that says suggestions forum. And that's where suggestions go. And if you like the suggestion that someone's posted, then you give it a thumbs up. You give it a thumbs up. That's how you do that one. The suggestions of what happens on the channel is not uh, limited to just the supporter T-Lounge, but the Friday streams, yeah, the vote on that absolutely is a supporter one. Because if you ain't supporting, well, frankly, you lost your voice. <laughs> you get to watch what those who made the stream happen have chosen. That's how that one works. Uh, Grimpan's saying, one of the best ways you can show devs you don't like the game is to stop playing. If they see player counts declining and profits decreasing, they'll notice. I mean, pretty much, yeah. Vote with your wallet is a real thing. It's just very hard to do. Very, very hard to do. Actually, explanation seems fair. I like to keep things fair. I do like to keep things fair. It's like how all the videos, all the streams I put out, you got access to them. You guys just get access. That's how I keep it fair. Alright, uh, I think I think it's a Neo I've not done. I might be wrong, but I think it's Neo I've done. I'm going to do a Neo, and if I'm wrong, we'll just do a Miso, and then everyone who's not done it has done it then. So, whatever, it'll work out either way. I like we were saying for the last five weeks it's been D and D because people know what they want. I mean, yeah, the votes have been focused on the D and D development of Warframe's the D and D monsters. By the way, the document for that is over in the Miscellaneous Games forum on the Discord. You can check that out. But yeah, you're absolutely right. It has been that for the last five weeks, and uh, the votes on that have been getting closer and closer with alternative options. I'll be honest. Most times the polls have gone out, and this is the vast majority. The winning option has won by around one to three votes. That's how close it has been. So if you want to uh, have your say, that is one of the few places in the world where your say has a very good chance of actually changing the result. Or making sure the result stays what you want it to be if you happen to be on the uh, winning side. It's not often in life that one or two people can literally make the difference in an entire vote. But there frequently it is, so uh, you know. 
If you are a subscriber and you're not already voting on that, well then that's your loss, isn't it? And if you're not a subscriber, now you know how to get access to that. Uh, Halo Infinite went from 250 to 5k players, devs haven't done much. Vote with your wallet seems highly situational. It's always situational because here's the thing with vote with your wallet. Vote with your wallet gives the implication that if you vote... Thank you, Zom. That threw me off for a second. <laughs> Thank you, Zom, with the rap tap tap. <laughs> Almost lost my train of thought there. Yeah, if you hear the idea of vote with your wallet, you get the impression, oh, well, I vote by buying or not buying and that's going to make a change well no because you're one person and if the other people around you don't join you in that vote then you got outvoted that's uh that's how it be a vote isn't a mandate it's a vote and it's the combined power of everyone together that makes it into a mandate When was that introduced? Uh, a short while back, actually. Just no one clicked it. Short while back. Hey, Elgin Crystal. That's lovely. This room in the void used to be different. Fair enough. Ooh, I'll take the Hystrix. Why not? I haven't got one of those. Let's pop it in. Haven't got that particular piece right now. Uh, what's my Bubonico build? Unfinished. I won't even share it to you because it'll throw you off. My Bubonico is formed and leveling because... Yeah, chat said former it. Or rather, one person in chat said to former it, and the only other suggestion on what to form it was Bone Widow, and that's not happening. So I took the only sensible answer that popped up. <laughs> Drago, it's more than that. Uh, you're saying, Drago's saying the big problem is if you're already so involved in the game to make a post or rant about a game, the chance you and other people actually follow through with a boycott is very small. And it's actually the other way around. It's actually the other way around. It's not... Uh, it's not so much about that people who are making posts are so involved that they're not going to boycott. It's because they're so involved that they're making the posts. If someone is not invested in something and they don't like it, they don't go onto Reddit or Twitter and say, oh, this was a terrible experience, I'm never going to do this again. Nine times out of ten, perhaps more than that, they just go, oh, I'm out. That's it. Silently gone. That That's what happens the majority of the time. If I open up my communication here, if I go to friends, sorted by last logged on, and we have ourselves a laundry list of people who have just... Uh, Gone. They're just gone. This guy didn't even get past the mastery rank one, but there you are. They didn't post onto Reddit. They didn't post onto Twitter. They didn't rant at the devs about what they should change. This guy might have, but there you go. They just reached a point, and they were done. And there are a lot of names I uh, are very familiar with in here. A lot of names I am very familiar with. Spoke to them personally many a time. Uh, spoke to them a lot. I was streaming just recently on a completely different game. Spoke to them a lot. Spoke to them a lot. Spoke to them a lot. To them a lot. To them a lot. Uh, to them a lot. In fact, I think they're in one of the videos I put out. Uh, to them a lot. To them a lot. To them a lot. Them. Evo Shady. We, a lot of you know Evo Shady here as well. That's the way it be. Most people that post about something that should change in a game actually are still playing when people quit they just quit unless they really have a point to make unless they expect people are going to care about the fact that they've stopped the average joe just goes and that's it it's done so vote with your wallet is a lot quieter than people seem to think it is it's a lot more subtle, it takes a lot more time, and it is a vote. With any game, with any company really in that regard, you have to understand that you are an individual. 
Don't expect the world to change on your whim. But if you have a whim, if you have a genuine feeling about how things should be or how things line up for you, if you look at it and you go, this is not for me, don't drag your memories through the dirt. Don't make yourself hate what you've enjoyed. Just move on. And you can always come back later. There is no shame in that. Enjoy what you enjoy. Uh, Jacobo Sambadetto saying... I think I said your name correctly. No, I missed an initial there. I missed a... F Let me try it again. Jacopo San Benedetto. There we are, close enough. Best YouTube Warframe channel. You know what you're saying, you guys? Thank you. Appreciate it. Hello, Smuggler. How are you doing? Alrighty. Uh, so, I didn't finish off the relic thing, so clearly the one I need to do was not Neo. It was Miso. So let's do the Miso one. Let's do the Miso one. What's Miso? Rescue. Sure, why not? Act. Wait, 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 wait. I saw a capture. That's even faster. And do I have a Radiant? I do! Wonderful. There we go. That was a Radiant. Yeah. I should make a motivational Warframe video someday. Eh. Eh. Almost perfect pronunciation. I'm getting better, chat. Almost perfect. You hear that? I'm getting better. If only I can figure out how to pronounce Polish names, I might actually get somewhere. <laughs> Getting life advice late at night in Warframe stream? I mean, where else? Where else? This is where you are. I know I may look on the younger side. And, well, I, am, I still am. I'm in the 20s still. Just about. <laughs> Just about. That doesn't mean I ain't learned a thing or two. I've seen more than a few people go through the same issues, and I've been there myself. The falling for the height. The uh, tarnishing your past for the sake of trying to stick things through, dealing with fear of missing out, all that lot. And it's healthier to just get past it all. It really, really is. There's no one overstating that. I'm 29 if you ain't guessed it, smuggler. My 20s are ah, wrapping up rapidly. 2023 is the end of 20s for me. Is the Asterius good? I'm not sure what the Asterius is, I'll be honest. That's it. You opened the relic. Finish your that name doesn't ring a bell, so probably not, but it could be. If it's new, I might have just not got around to figuring out what that name is. The Explosive Sentient Secondary from Carl. Alright, I definitely haven't got around to checking it. Out. Wait. You mean the Agret? The Agret. <laughs> not the Asterius. I don't know what the Asterius would be. I, I know of the Acarius. Which would indicate that there is a single area somewhere, but we ain't seen that. Oh, hello, Pandora. Yeah, the Agrit, I've heard some good things about it. I've heard some good things about the Agrit's power. So, yeah, give it a whirl. I haven't got around to testing it proper. Uh, I've been heavily focused on other stuff. But yeah, give it a whirl. Just tried DRG as it was simply free on Xbox. Have I tried it? I haven't tried it as yet, no. Quintus did gift it to me, but I haven't got around to actually trying it. Look like Jason with good vibes. Alright then, so we definitely got the uh, relic bit all sorted. Let's see what are we recovering and doing here. So we got the Dragon Key Vault. I still forget to do lockers. Bounties on the Orb Valis, yikes. And bounties on the Zaraman. Th there's a reason, chat, that these ones are recovered. There's a reason that I hadn't done them before. Bounties. Alright, uh, Dragon Key Vaults. Let's do those first. Let's do those first. Wukong. And I need the gear for it. 
Got the bleeding, decaying, extinguished, and the hobbled. There we go. Four keys for every uh, potentiality. Parkop doing the same as well. Excellent. Let's blitz our way through this. Just in case anyone DCs, I'm going to put this onto friends only. So we'd have some random going, why are you guys lagging behind? See, that's why. Now we'll open up Horrend because that's basically the best one for it. Have I ever run Vaulted Relics with a pre-made squad? It's not really something I focus on. I'm doing a squad load of Vaulted Relics, no. Can I announce when I play DRG for the first time? Oh, all my announcements go out onto Discord. Especially with Twitter dying, Discord is a better place to put it. So if you want to keep up with everything that I'm doing as the Kenjineer, uh, Discord is where you're going to get the majority of all notifications. That would be the way to check it all out. Yo, Aryan D13, thank you very much for subscribing at Tier 1, my dude. I really do appreciate that. Cheers. Excellent work. Enjoy your lovely new blue badge, your remote to go with it, your access to the supporter tea lounge, which we've been talking about here today. And of course, you also have no more ads here on Twitch. Throughout your sub. Which is definitely a nice thing. The ads on Twitch can be annoying. Uh, I'm gonna head this way. Those guys are checking the doors to that side, so I'm gonna head this way. See what I find. Oh, someone mentioned it, Quintus. Someone mentioned they uh, stopped playing Warframe after playing DRG, that's all. Uh, I need to go roughly this way. And I find the thing which we are looking for. I'm going to check all the way. Nope, not this way. Hello and good day, NZY. Ah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there, there it is. Hold up, let me just stand here as uh, good old Kong for a moment. And he wants us to switch on over to the EDM as usual. There we are. We're on to the Edom. Somewhere around here, potentially, is going to be the door I'm looking for. Somewhere. Maybe even over the rainbow. Way up high. Oh, no, that's not it. Uh, so is the rush mod or speed or worth using to compensate for the speed debuff from Dragon Key? Uh, you're better off just using things which ignore it altogether, like bullet jumping. As you look, bullet jump still has the full speed. Bullet jump is completely unaffected. Uh, other parkour things, it's just your sprint speed. So as much as I'm being lazy with Wukong here, right, this isn't the fastest way to get around. If you use something that has a different speed modifier entirely, rather than your sprint speed, that will actually usually be better. That will usually be much better. Uh, nothing we're looking for is here. Oh, thought someone found the synthesis target. And someone's found the vault. Alright, cool, we can leave. Someone's opened it, we can leave. It appears unaffected by the infestation. You have the vault artifact. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that is not the way out. <laughs> I tried. I failed. <laughs> yeah, do you need to go to the vault too? I don't believe so, no. I don't believe anyone needs to go to the vault now it's been cracked. I'm about to be a test case for exactly that. Lockers? Oh, I'll do the lockers later, Squirbo. I'll do them later. Yeah, looks like I don't need to do that. I don't need to uh, go to the vault. So, small strike is mine. Again. <laughs> How about Titania? Yeah, Titania is a decent pick. She still uses sprint speed, but uh, she can get so much speed already that it's not actually that much of a problem. Jack, uh, I was talking about some build for the regulators. We were wondering if it's better to use Eclipse or Raw. Do I have any advice? Uh, regulators doesn't really use status damage. It uses direct damage, so typically speaking, Eclipse would be better. Uh, it's just the Eclipse I have beef with, as it is a very, very inconsistent ability. And the fact that it is still inconsistent to this day is just an insult. So you can look to using uh, Eclipse over Raw, yeah. 
theoretically the better one. I just don't like it. Matter of course, I don't like it. All right, let's use Titania for this next run. What about Zarta's Whisper? You can use Zarta's Whisper. Uh, there's no reason you really need to because it doesn't scale in unimaginable ways. So you can use it, but it's not going to be that great. It's not like you have a risk of missing with uh, Peacemaker, is it? Village Gun Mesa. Yeah, you can use Pillage. Pillage and Terrify are both good pickups there as well. You can use Dispensary if you want to just support your energy income. All kinds of options. Alright, so as you can see, Titania. Oh. Like kind of slightly bonkers uh, in terms of speed, even with the speed debuff, and um, we're, we're done. We, we can just go. Well, that was easy. Titania, not only the speed frame, but also the luck frame. Yep, there we are. Uh, <laughs> yep. I'm just going to paint the sky yellow now, don't mind me. You get some yellow, and you get some yellow, everyone gets yellow. Titania, Bestania. She's pretty good. She is pretty good. Tainted Clip. Eh, okay. Imagine Mesa having normal aim with a four. Oh. I, will, I wouldn't. Yeah. It would take away a lot of the fun of using Mesa. Certainly for that energy drain, it would take a lot of the, the way. I could pay so much more? I, I, I could, but. Nah. Alright. One more run of that. Is it one or two we need to do? I think it might actually be two more we need to do. What two more runs of that, that and we're good. I'll see if I can remember lockers this time. Probably won't, but. We'll try. I'll try. <laughs> you are here to find our target and bring them to the extraction point. Alright, off we pop. I'm gonna take a quick peek over. I am detecting a synthesis target. Titania! Luck frame! Who needs bug frame when you got luck frame, eh? I'm just gonna open up these lockers whilst I'm here. Yeah. Locker. 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 That one over there, locker. Easy peasy. Absolutely stonks and when you forget, seeing a little bit tired of things, taking a while, the game just goes, ah, let's fix that for you. Am I in range? I'm in range. Grab the standing from that just by being here. Ta-da! Thank you very much, game. And he over here. Nope. I run out. Let's read off. You know, I'm just gonna go straight to the exit. I can open up more lockers later. So unless I see any on the way that I care about, which I don't, straight to the exit. What's the best frame for arbitrations? Oh, that really does depend on the mission, massively. Say survival. Uh, whichever one can tank a lot will be a typical good pick because the cost of dying is so much higher in arbitrations, both for you and your squad. So just something that can survive generally is a good idea. But that, that's pretty much it. That's the entire requirement, survival. Just a tanky frame. Killing with abilities is reduced because of the arbitration drones, so I would stick to focusing on defensive stuff. And if you're up against a corpus, if you can use a tank that doesn't get nullified, that's also a good idea. Because nullifiers can screw you up in an instant. But otherwise, yeah. Just... If you're going into survival, survive. It's kind of in the name. Alright. Run number four. Let's see. Is it going to be ridiculously easy to find it this time? Ah, not as easy. Let me just open up a few lockers whilst I'm here. Bop. Bop. More for any more? Yep. Bop. Oi. Bop. Thank you. 
Gosh, stupid locker not paying attention when I say but. But means it's done. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the captain back at base. Your part is done here, Kenno. Yeah. Hunt around for all the bits and pieces I need to. Nothing over this way. Okie dokie. Accidentally burning that corpus to death by just existing. Ain't life grand. Trying to figure out by bumping into them which doors actually open. Nope. Oof. I'm hit by something. Ah, let's grab some more lockers whilst I'm here. Oh, hey, what's this thing? If anyone needs to scan that one, I suppose, it's right there. Do I need to scan that one? No. But it was worth checking. And over this way. Ah, someone found it. A pristine broken vault. Wonderful. So I can just find my way out of here now. If I can find some lockers on the way, that would be ideal. Extract before we can verify its function. It looks like some corrupted stayed behind. Oh, locker there. Titania doing things as per standard. Another locker here. Ah, let's make our way forwards a bit. I'll probably find some lockers along the way somewhere. Should there be some lockers down this way? No, apparently not. This way, the way is blocked. I'm bothered to figure my way around that. Some lockers in here. Ah, lovely, thank you. Up, ah, wait. Thank you, and you, and you. Uh, three more to go, that's fine. We'll get that today. There we are. It's just spread. Oh well. Oh well. New one for you? Oh, there we are, then, Gorilla. You got something new? That's a positive. Now we've all got these absolutely useless Oricon ciphers. Or rather, almost absolutely useless. I tell a lie. They do have one use. You can head all the way down here, open up your helmet. Grab the feed option. If you go to Bile, that is the only use of Oricon Ciphers in this day and age. There we go. Actually, I'm going to fill this guy up whilst I'm here. Apparently a few resources are down, so let's fix that. There we are, that one and that one. And the Death Knight and the Fieldron. And some Ganglions, why not? And over here, I can use some Rubido and some Gallus Rods. Asteroid, we've got shed loads of that. There we are. Easy. Easy, easy. It's got some value. It'd be funny if they came out of an update that uh, actually used ciphers. They did. It was the helmet system. <laughs> that That's the update that uses them. Let's get rid of these. There we go. Job is a good one. I think next we're on to the Zaraman bounties. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, we got another recovered. Uh, kill enemies with Nekamek without it getting destroyed. Oh, I could probably do that alongside the Valis bounties. But I don't want to do the Valis, so I'm going to go to the Zaraman. <laughs> I'm going to go to the Zaraman. That's just far more preferable to me. Not about you lot, chat. I look at all the Valis bounties and I go, I've been there, done that. Got the t-shirt. Got the warframes. Got the PTSD from trying to get the dirt bonds. I'm done, bruh. <laughs> I'm done. Oxide's the group you have most trouble with? What are Oxide's? What are Oxide's when you are struggling? Oxide's that one. Oh, you need to do some more Railjack, mate. Railjack Carbide's absolutely swimming in them. Doesn't help the Tauri Farm is just playing horrific? Yeah, that's a pain. 
Although you can use Necros and a Necromech. Necros sets up with the uh, Desecrate and then you switch to Necromech. Necros is uh, not the focus of enemy attention, but it's still doing the looting stuff all around the area. So you can do that to solo cheese it to help you out. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to fast travel to Quinn. There we are. Am I looking forward to Necromech combat in the upcoming new Spiral missions? We'll have to see how it works. We'll have to see how it works. That's the main thing. Uh, let's see. Exterminate. That's the one. Final activate a lock search. Oh, that's easy. I just want to make sure. Does it want us to do four bounties or four different bounties? Mind, four different bounties. Oh, they would. They would. A portal. There's my objective. Didn't realize Desecrate works in Necromech. Yeah, channeled abilities stay active whilst you go into a Necromech. And if it's a channel ability which doesn't actually drain energy, then you're laughing. Or does it ever do the same bounty? It's never do the same bounty. But I, I, had, I had my fingers crossed that maybe this time they forgot to do that. Which they didn't. Are we against a Corpus or a Grenier? I forgot to check. We got a bunch of Granum ah, Granum Grounds. Easy salvage. We lovely, lovely. Is it me or does the uh, UI icon for the lock surge look a little bit like a wasp head? Like that might be just me seeing that one. But it does look like a bit of a wasp head to me. Am I alone on that chat? I might be alone on that. <laughs> does a bit? Uh, looks like the old Predacon logo? Oh, okay. Predacon? can see it. Oh well. Some people see it, some people don't. It looks a bit like one to me. Uh, infinite ammo and 50% faster fire. Well, sure. Excuse me. I have gun. It go burr. Continuing the burr. Anyone have a weak graphics card? We'll be testing that for you right now. Because I've got a lime green Bubonico and it has infinite ammo. I don't even know what I'm aiming at anymore. I'm just firing. Oh, I ran out. There we go. Lovely. Well, wasn't that quite something? All right, where's the rest of the enemies? There's some of them over here. Peekaboo! Bubonico! Oh, someone over here wants to get Mur- Oh, there's a whole bunch of them up this way. Oh, here we go. Wow. That was effective enough, I'll take it. That shield did lots for them. Christ, you green with envy. Mm. Now, is that because of the envy or is that because I just painted your screen green? Is that another lock search? Ooh, what we got? What we got? Affinity? Oh, this affinity boosted day. Ah, oh, you shouldn't have. Keep coming. Oish. Uh, Blank Guy said, Hey Ken, given Lavos is a framing value a lot, how useful are the Arkham mods on him? Not very. Yeah. That That's the long and short of it. Oh, hello. Forgot they didn't exist. And I forgot how to jump as well, apparently. Yeah. You can't hurt it while those dimensional orbs are out. Use your void body to absorb them. Oh, there's one more. Oh, someone got it. There we are. We're lovely. We're lovely. Yeah, the Archon mods are just sad. I wouldn't worry about the Archon mods uh, for most things, honestly. They are very niche in application. Ah. 
Yeah, lack of uh, Void Strike there, not helping out. Again, I completely forgot this fight existed. Hello, Sleep Death. I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well yourself. But, there we are. Grab the Void Plume. Fractalize Reset. Sure, why not? I hear a key. Hmm, maybe someone's carrying it. Alright, so all we need to do now is, uh... Basically just get a few more kills and we're out of here. I'm just gonna skip past that guy. Grumpy Pants asking, what do I do with this thing? Oh, so you're the one holding the key. You need to take it to the Cephalon Malika console. She's the uh, pink mini-map icon. Hold on, was there one over here? Or is it over here? Where, where is the Malika console in this room? I don't remember where it is around here, but yeah, it's pink on the mini-map. You'll find it, or you won't. Either happens. Two people waiting for me, which means one person hasn't got there yet, so any lockers? Does this map have lockers? I... You know what? I don't actually know if this map has lockers. I never thought about that question. That's how much lockers mean to me, usually. Did Levarcon stretch if it gave Prime stretch stats? Well, I mean, if it gave us more stats than we can currently get, sure, yeah. We wouldn't be happy with more than they can currently get. Like small garbage cans? Are those lockers or crates you're talking about? I mean, you might be talking about the right stuff, but I don't know. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Quim, my boy. What you got for me now? Oh, it's definitely the trash cans. Okay, fair enough. Got our work cut out for us. Fair enough. Mobile defense? Yeah, sure, why not? Kill 10 enemies as operator. Sure, why not? Let's bring out the operator puppet up. Let's bring it out. Ah, uh, void strike on Madurai. There we go. That thing's still here. Huh. Hey, did anyone want this? I'm just going to drop this over here, okay? Um, oh. Can't drop it. I'm going to just take it this way, then. And it's gone. <laughs> this is a new thing to pick up. I'll let someone else grab that a second. I want to not go through that door. I want to see about these trash cans, then. Because they don't pop up on the mini-map. Oh, hey, another one. Oh, hey. That wasn't what I was looking for. But, sure. You found a terminal. Pop the data mask in there and defend it. Okay. Let's do a little bit of localized blapping. Yeah, not having these trash cans on the mini-map definitely impedes my ability to find them because I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for. But I'm just going to activate that. Maybe someone else can follow it. Uh, terminal's been activated, so hopefully someone is defending that because I am looking for stuff. Yeah. Nearly done. I haven't seen a trash can outside of any long hallways. Uh, oh. That's a thing. Nope, that is, that's not a trash can. That's... It won't be that off. The trash cans have so many different designs and different cultures. Like, ah, these. And it's a locker. Okay, cool. So that's the design I'm looking for. Slim uh, little thing. Alright then. Now I have an understanding. This system's back online. Find us another. Let's head towards where everyone else is doing the mission. And also killing an angel. That's useful. Grab this, I'll just take it over towards the next location and see if I find a trash can along the way. Terminal in sight. You know what to do. 
I do know what to do. I plug it in and let you do the thing instead. Alright, right, any trash cans? Nope, just ghost children. Okay. I'll keep looking around. There might be a trash can somewhere. There might be. It might be better off if I just actually hold off on this until a different kind of mission. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm invested in now. I'm invested in checking around, seeing where they spawn. That is not a trash can. Nearly done. Uh, anything down here in the water tree bit? There's crates. Not trash cans. Oh, this is a void plume. Sure, why not? Why not? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's that's a no on this general area. Also, I need to get some operator kills. Or have, is it the fact? Wait, do other people's operator kills count? Because I've definitely not killed thing, nine things in my operator. Do other people's operator kills count for this bounty? Because if so, that makes that a lot easier. Let's see. Yep. Yep, someone just got the operator kill right there. Alright, cool. Well, that's that's easier. Maximum effort. Any trash cans? You'd think a little park area like this would have a trash can. But apparently not. Not that I can see. Let's just plug in the, uh, the USB stick and let it happen. Okay. Scrubbing the system. Free the ghost from his uh, prison. Don't need to chase him. I'll just let him live his best life. Best death, whichever. I mean, it makes sense for the bounty objectives to be combined for the team. It does make sense. It's just... For some reason, that didn't cross my mind. <laughs> That's all. It was an unexpected surprise. Stop searching the trash bins and help the team. I am helping the team. I plugged in two of the consoles. Thank you very much. What makes you think I'm not helping the team when I plugged in two of the consoles, eh? Pop this and that. Any trash cans in here? Anything? Maybe? No? Down here? Oh. Okay then. Yeah, this place is really struggling for lockers. Like I know I say lockers usually just don't matter for anything, but wow. See them just not around most of the time? Okay. Oh. Eh, I guess we're done then. Uh, did I put Archon Shards in my Lavos? I haven't at the moment, no. I should. I just haven't got around to dealing with the Archon Shards after researching them and keeping them off for research purposes. Because it costs bile to take things off, and if I needed to test things, that would have just got in the way. So I should put them on at this point, but I ain't got around to it. Maximum particle velocity? Eh, Lavos pass. Okay, Vlad. No, 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 no. Ah, we're not going down the road of puns. Not today. No, Vlad. No, 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 no. No. I definitely am not awake enough for that. There we are. Another bounty complete. Another bunch of bits. Casting speed? Yeah, I can go casting speed as well. Yeah. I'll get around to deciding. Alright, bounties. What have we got left then? So we've done the mobile defense. We've not done the Void Flood. Find a Zerium Accolade and turn it in. Well, that's easy. Them yeah, we can definitely do that one. Belongs to. I was saying this is probably the only game with looting mechanics. We're going through all the rubbish bins. It seems weird. Nope. Uh, Stardew Valley. If you go through the rubbish bins there, the uh, the villagers, if they spot you, will be like, Yo, bro, what are you up to? That is not a good thing. It's not just Warframe. Not just, but almost, you're right. If anything, I'll be honest, the whole rifling through trash cans in games like uh, Fallout, for example, for me, it actually takes away from the game for me. 
They're ripping the Albrecht membrane. The reason I say that is that I shouldn't be able to find just all these bits of valuable things just stashed in a trash can. With people walking past us like, oh yeah, whatever. It's one of the more valuable materials needed to do whatever you're trying to do, but I don't care. Who's trying to survive in the mojo, or whatever they call it. Well, let's get into this Lavos build. Uh, my Lavos build is actually the most recent one I've shown on video, which is the uh, Augments video. I did Augments uh, overview for Zaku Trinity Lavos when Swift Bite came out, and it's that Swift Bite build I still use today. Yeah. Updated from the original Lavos guide because he made changes twice. They changed how Lavos is. Transmutation probe worked in terms of efficiency, how much it gained, and then they changed. Uh, well, they added Swift Bite. Didn't change it; they added it. But you get what I'm saying. Oh look! You sealed a rupture. Not bad. I missed one in that room. Ow, oh, balls! Trash cans are honestly so hard to spot. There's no mark. There's no nothing. And there's so few of them, I'm just kind of quickly glancing and hoping I catch an eye of it. Because otherwise, it... Oh, okay. Skittergirl doing skitter things. Skittergirl just met Glaive Prime. They, uh, they didn't get along very well. <laughs> they did not get along very well. Alright, uh, where are some more stuff I can pick up? There is some. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Good jump died there. Very good jump. Grumpy Pants is down. Oh no! Grumpy Pants has died. Double O no! This is why I bring a lazy tank. Kinda hard to die. Unless the game decides to uh, give you a bullshit one shot. But most of the time it's hard to die. Scoop, 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 scoop. Anyone seen some uh, Malika stuff? Void saturation no? causing further complications. Ooh, I didn't mean to jump that far. Onto the next. No. Whatever. Whatever. And Korokov's gonna grab it. Whatever. I'll, I'll just go grab the stuff over here instead. Who needs Titania when you can just launch yourself into the air like that anyway? Alright, so all we need at this point is a Zeppelin Leaker console. So I'm going to go looking for that. No idea where I'll find it, but I'm going to go looking. Um, oh wait, is this where we started? This is where we started. Hmm. If I head to Wade, I'll probably find money console that way. Uh, come on. Oh. Stupid. Head banging piece of. Mm, still no idea on the console. Ah, here we go. So if there's one there, then it probably spawned in here. In fact, I think I heard it. Did I hear it or did someone grab it? I might have grabbed it. Maybe it's this way. Come on, where are you hiding at? Where is it? Uh, does your and Warframe affect your whole squad, or just your Warframe? It affects the whole squad. Only Warframe's in the squad, but it affects the whole squad. Grab some of those. So yeah, like if you have the Aura uh, Regeneration giving you 3 hit points per second, it'll give it to everyone in the squad. Ah, uh, there should be an accolade around here. Someone picked up an accolade and just holding us hostage. Because I'll be a bit annoyed if that's the case. Like, pay attention when you grab. 
I'm assuming that's not the case. I'm just not hearing it over everything else that's happening. It's supposed to be around here, I swear. Because the console is right here. Oh, wait. Here we go. It's, um... Oh, feck off, you little... There it is. Got it. That's the thing we're looking for. Pop that in. Mission successful. We can get out of here. Uh, someone said there's a trash can in here. Pretty sure there's a trash cans near Malika or in the opposite corridor. Nope. Not with that limited suggestion I ain't seen one on. Or, oh. oh, that was wider than the first one. Oh, that threw me off. There are different size trash cans to look out for. Oh my god. Well, I got one. That's good enough for me. I'm out of here. One is enough. What does Skitter Girl do? She drains your, uh... What's it? Whatever this stuff is. Void fuel orb. It drains that from you, and also gives you a magnetic rock. That's the main things. Vitaplast, that's the name of it. Vitaplast is what she steals. Glade Prime is really that good? Yep, Glade Prime is amazingly powerful. It's stupidly powerful. The fact that it's not been nerfed is honestly confusing. It's really that good. You just realise you still have the dragon keys equipped? Oops. That's a doof right there, mate. That's a doof. There we are. Orbit's done. One more bounty to do. Uh, so we've got the choice of Void Cascade or Void Armageddon. Well, that's an easy one. Use 10 x lizers. Kill three Void Angels. Yeah, no, we're not doing three Void Angels of Armageddon. Void Cascade. No Easy pick. Easy pick right there. Have I considered making a video about shield gating? I've already done one. I don't need to make a second one. Yeah, I've already done it, mate. Come on. Oh, I can levels collect energy orbs. Uh, 10 seconds of status immunity every energy orb. Cooldown on picking up one is five seconds after the previous one to prevent you from just scooping them all up. Besides Glade Prime, which Glade would I recommend? Zorus. You get it from the Quest of Deadlock Protocol, so it's nice and easy to get hold of. It's got a very, very big range. The electric procs are really nice. And mostly, yeah, you get it from the Quest, so maximum effort. <laughs> Zorus. Hello, Scorpex, how you doing? Ah. Alright then. Let's deal with this thing. Alright then, we are going to slowly recover the ship. We just need to do 10 x lizers. We basically just do the mission for an amount of time and then it says, Alright, you're good, you can go. That got their attention. Enemy forces move into your location. No special requirements on this bounty. Just do the mission for a bit. Possessed Exalizer located. Purge it and make it Alright, let's go get the next Exalizer going. Bit of an unintentional hard landing as operator, but you know. We deal with it. That Exalizer is working for us now. Play Prime, doing Glade things, and then burn. Easy peasy. And you know what, let's send out some Toxin. Another one to pop, let's get working on that. Play Prime, go burn. Beautiful. How is it succumbing? There's someone over there. 
Ah, it's fine. They had it under lockdown. It's fine. And they're really spawning out these uh, exercises right now, aren't they? Spent. Can I get up this ramp, please? Bruh. Bruh! Man, that is an annoying wall. There we go. Crikey. I did not think the operator jumping up this would have been a problem. There you are. Crikey. Those void nightmares are hell bent on one thing. Manifesting more nightmares. Take this one off of the uh, console. Oh, got out of range of the second explosion. And that's why I don't really use that one too much. Not actually that good a weapon. Very specific use case. Alright, I guess I'll head over to the uh, next exorcizer over this way. Especially as we're about to be on to uh, 2v1. We'll push things against us. Let's activate that whilst we're there. Abilities use no energy. Oh, wow, that's nice. Wow, yeah, great. No energy. Hmm, what a buff. Working on backups. Contamination levels going in the wrong direction. <laughs> Look at that cast speed. That cast speed was stupid fast. <laughs> it's just instant. I see. Ah. <laughs> that quick on the gas. Stupid. This is yours now. All right, we're going to break slides over this way. Nope. Oh, that one. This one. There we go. Cascade just hit a new level of intensity. Be careful. We have no idea what it can manifest. Imagine if the lava says no cooldowns. Yeah, that'd be pretty bonkers. The thing with Lavos is that uh, Lavos gains the benefit. Right. Oh, we got this thing here. Okay. Lavos gains the benefit of no energy. Lavos also gets all the drawbacks of no energy, which is Lavos doesn't get any of the benefits of energy uh, savings and whatnot. You get the benefits and you get the drawbacks. No getting around that. Rage Mod will do nothing for you. Hunter Adrenaline does nothing for you. Flow does nothing for you. Arcane Energize does nothing for you. And that's just part of the deal. What shards am I using on Lavos? None at the moment. I haven't got around to installing any on him. Absolutely none. Uh, the attacks, or rather casting speed you are seeing here was a combination of... Oh, sec. Is that... Yeah, the casting speed you see is a combination of void, uh, not void, sorry, uh, power transfer from. Oh, what's it called? Madurai. And then we had the glowing hand buff, which I've forgotten the name of. My brain is not working today because I am so tired. Quick thinking works as LU? I don't know. Uh, it's quick thinking the one where you use energy to not die, in which case, no. Lavos doesn't have energy. No. There's not any loopholes. If I'm just not mentioning an energy-based thing, it's not because that one works. It would only work if I said it works. If I'm not mentioning it, it's because I'm just not mentioning it. Lavos doesn't have energy. Period. All right, this area is under a reasonable amount of lockdown. I'm going to have a quick look around and see if I can find a trash can. You can imagine there'd be one in this area. Surely. Surely there'd be a trash can somewhere around this big old warehouse of a room. Maybe? Oh, I like Oh, they got that. That's fine. Over here. Over here. No, 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 no. No? Come on, no wonder the Zaraman got taken over by the boy. I have mean, got regular trash cans. What is wrong with you? Actually a menace. Oh, hello. 
Oh, grab that for the zine. Uh, might as well scan that last minute. Oh, I've done that. Uh, possessed x has been deployed. Should probably go deal with that. Where is that one? That one's over this way. Yeah, there's both red crits on Cooper Nucle. Fair. Spit Exalizer has been retired. Cascade intensifying. I've opened oh, an Cascade extraction. intensifying. Your choice when to use it. But we've done all of the exercises we need to do, so actually we can just extract. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop this just for the hell of it. Oh god, it's actually got a lot on it. We can leave. I'm just doing this. Give us some breathing room on the whole leaving business. There we are. Okay, never mind on the breathing room. Let's just get out of here. I'm guessing there won't be an extra slot for a while, probably. I'll invite you if one does open up, but otherwise, yeah. We'll see how it flows. Destabilizing the Zeraman is a foolhardy strategy. You just watched me Lord doing transcendence in the elevator? Transcendence? You did well, I don't Scott. have transcendence. Hey, there we go. All the bounties we need to do here complete. Yeah, I know what transcendence is, I don't have it. You keep that for the entirety of uh, the period between one quest and another. Uh, that shouldn't have been popping up. You haven't reached uh, Sethron PC yet? Eh, fair do. You'll get there. You'll get there. Work your way around. Alright, let's bring back the peeps we had there. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, is it going to work? There we are. All right, full squad re-established. Let's see. So the options here are Necromet kills, three Voidful admissions. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's back. We just finished up the Zaraman bounty. It's like, yeah, now do some Voidful admissions. Ah, you... Oh, you... no, I refuse. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get some kills with an Necromet. That's why I've decided we're getting kills with an Necromet. Uh, I might as well just pop down to Fortuna at that point, yeah. Pop open a bounty, get some kills on Necromech. Do I have my Warframe stats for D&D &D on a playlist on YouTube? Warframe stats for d What, you mean the, uh... The Warframes I've been turning into D&D &D monsters, Raven? Is that what you're looking for? Glad recently got Steel Path? Noish. Does the Geneva Convention exist in a Warframe universe? Uh, yes, but it's renamed to Geneva Suggestions. Alright, bounties. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, well, we've got another bounty. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Uh, let's just get the short one done. Let's just get the short one out of the way. Alright, Raven. Well, it's not over on YouTube, no. It's available on my Discord. Under the miscellaneous games of, uh, sub forum. So if you want to get the uh, file, the in progress file, that it's available on the Discord. It's not for general releases yet, so I would appreciate if it's not shared far and wide. I am still working through that. It's barely even ten percent done. Alrighty, time to suffer on Fortuna. Oh, we'll get this quick. We'll get this done quick. All right, bounty one. Where do we go? Yeah, man. Over this way. Lovely, bubbly. Yo, Matt Goodman coming in with the five bits there, saying, "Hey, man, I love the YouTube videos. Lifesaver. Let you enjoy them, man. Or welcome to the Twitch channel as well, by the way." Give me whilst I just go. Um, oh, wrong button. I guess I'll put some mines down. Hi. Overkill. Absolutely unnecessary overkill. Don't mind me. 
kill without getting my necromech destroyed? Yep, I'll make sure of that one. These level 5s do not stand a chance. This is how you make absolutely certain of what you're doing. Oh, some stuff spawning in over there. Let me just nuke the entire area. Some stuff over there. Yep. By indiscriminately in the general direction of all of that lot. Oh, I had some spawning in on the right. There we go. On the left. I know. I've, I've got to be careful, bro. Like, level 5. That's... That's halfway to double digits. Over halfway, isn't it? Oh, no, it's just halfway to double digits. Yeah, technically under halfway. If you start at level one, technically under halfway. But, you know, it's still on the way to double digits, and that, that's still a thing. Head over to the uh, corporate camp. And capture some cases. Okay. Yeah, we can absolutely do some of that. Let me just... Uh, Bring in the guns again. I don't know if the Nekomet can capture cases. We're about to find out. The answer is a resounding maybe. It's a yes. Ah, Nekomet can capture cases. Good. I can stick to this. Not right. I have to make sure I don't get destroyed here. So, you know, maximum firepower. But, actually... I've got the energy. Let's just... Yeah, no. Oh, I should be stood by now, the case. Don't know what that little jog was, but we'll take it. Oh, something is trying to capture a case over there. No! Oh, no, you don't. Uh-uh. Flying -uh. Necromech to the rescue. Absolutely having none of this. There we go. All right, and we got the objective. Cool. We're not doing the corpus bounties all the way to five. I, can be I, I refuse. But never pushed. Befriended, but never coerced. Absolutely refuse to keep doing that. Am I being a bit risky there? Ah, it's fine. I can just leave it out in the open. What's going to go wrong? What's going to go wrong? Oh, um, there's some stuff spawning. Let me just zap. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> that worked. I'll send another one their way. There we go. We might as well finish this last bounty stage. As long as it is nothing too obnoxious, we'll just get that last one out of the way and off we pop. Octavius Malik can help you capture those caches. Really? Octavius Malik can capture the caches? Oh, wait. Did it just become a spy mission right here? Like, right here. Okay. I... Well, that's something, and we just got a double auto drop. Alright then. I don't care what you do, game. You're not going to make me enjoy these Fortuna bounties anymore, though. We're going. Job done. Let's get out of here. I'm out. Absolutely out of here. O U T out. I was saying there's one bounty you could do in sub two minutes. One bounty stage, I'm assuming you mean. Have I never had the spy segment before? Oh, I've had the spy segment. I've never had it spawn right on the same building I was already at. That was a bit surprising. Usually the bounties send you a few hundred meters around each time, just to dick with you. Oh, good luck, Raven. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, they can be a bit to fight as Drifter. They can be a bit. The third one will be easier. Oh, well, the Profit Taker all bounties. Eh, well, fair enough, Zono. I'm still not doing it. I just flatly refuse. I know there's no way of stuff, but if I can avoid it, I'm avoiding it. Because Fortuna bounties, no. Brain unhappy. <laughs> it's 
No. Let's see, what have I recovered instead? Uh, bounties on the orb. Ten syndicate missions. <sighs> Darn. Well, uh, I guess we're going to do some Void Floods. Yeah. I guess that's, uh, we're doing the, uh, we're doing the Void Flood thing. Yeah. Yeah, I send to everyone. I don't, I think again, the game was like, no, nah, don't send it over to Karakov. No one wants to send that. Come on, game. W, Dick. All right, we're doing Void Floods. I am grabbing the Void Flood cheese extraordinaire, Titania. Hello, Dunkle Dapper, how you doing? It's it's worth getting to rank 5 with Fortuna, but once you are at rank 5, not many people enjoy the bounties thereafter. Some do, but not many. Not many. They are a pain. Uh, I don't even need to go down there, because we don't need to do bounties. We just need to do Void Flood three times over. Which is, of course, the last one I check. There we go. Yeah, remember guys, Warframe is a game designed to be cheesed, and uh, well, Titania is good at that. Titania, Wukong, Ivara, they're some pretty damn cheesy frames. I don't think I actually gave Titania much airtime in the cheese frame video. But yeah, when it comes to this mission, they cheese better than Wukong. They really do. Back on the right way. I am not on the right way. But I'll still be ahead of the others. There we go. Alright. Vitoplast. Yoink. Hey, whilst we're here, let's activate that. Health orbs increase max health by 25 for the rest of the mission. Don't mind if I do. There we are. Max health is going up and up. Up, 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 up. Grab the stuff over here. Scoop this all in. Why is she better than Wukong? Wukong's Cloud Walker doesn't pick up the Vita Blast whilst you're in Cloud Walker, is my understanding. I think I tested that. Whereas Titania, as you can see, you can just go bop. Easy beat. I mean, if she didn't, she'd be terrible for this mission. She'd have to just not use her fourth, which is. The biggest part of her kit. Honestly is. But because it does work, she's just too good at it. She's just too good. Grab those bits over here. And we'll grab the bits oh, here. You sealed a rupture. Not and grab the bits that are hovering up here. There we go. Nom nom nom. The angels have torn open and the ones over here. You see how easy that is? You see how stupidly easy that is. If someone wants to kill the angel, they can, but I ain't gonna focus on it. Grab the bits to the ground. Any more spawning? Yep. Ah, look, we got a nice big one. Bonk. Yeah, so Wukong has the easy adaptive flight where you're not constantly flying, and Wukong allows you to use your other weapons rather than just the same dex picture all the time. But uh, Titania... Titania definitely has the winning ticket when it comes to just sheer firepower cheese. Alright, there we are. We're done. Remember guys, we are dipping. Because we need to do three missions, not three rounds, my understanding. Uh, let me check on that, actually. Oh, I just said that. Now, just in case somebody... Uh, yeah, just complete the missions. So, we're done. We can leave. Oh, they want to activate the angel. Oh, they want to do it now we've done the mission. Really? 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 Are you... Do you do this to hurt me? Oh, they got that one instantly. Okay. Seriously, this could have been done whilst we were doing the mission itself. Bruh. I'm not sure why I have blast on here, but okay. 
That is definitely not the recommended um, damage type for dealing with angels. There we go. That's the recommended damage type. That one will be difficult to replace. Up. Uh, why Firewalker? Because Skyrite is fun. That one will be difficult to and now we're with Gucci. Let's get out of here. Where's the exit? This way, this way, this way. Oh, any... Nope. No trash cans right there. I was checking. Blast of the Fantas- Oh, yes! I had the blast mode for the Fantas, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. The one-time blast is actually worthwhile, and then for one very specific build. Yeah, genuinely for me, the uh, Orb Valis bounties are just not fun. I don't enjoy them. The What's my Titania build? Ah, that's a good question. Let's have a look. What is my Titania build? If I open it up, what, what is my... Uh... Sorry, I need to... Not quite, not quite, not quite, not quite. There we go. Now, now I can access it. <laughs> one of those things. So that, that is my Titania build. And it works for me. It works for me. Bobbins, cheers. Hi, right, Grumpy Pants. We'll catch you around. You have a good one, mate. You have a good one. Which means, Zom... There's a slot for you. There's your invite. Come on in. And whilst we're at it, I'm going to uh, fix my damage type. Let's fix that. That no longer needs to be uh, blast. The devil with that. Uh, let's switch this over to corrosive. Is probably one of some kinds of ones here. Okay, convulsion. I go for uh, the brain. Just throws that that one and that one. There we are. Just all the corrosive. That should do fine. What could, I actually should, I, wait, I should just do Gross P, what am I doing? Yeah. Gross P, even better. Alright then. Zombs loaded in, probably, so let's get this crack in, and we want the Void Flood. Let's do it. Now you're just doing a quick little posey pose. Mesa looking as stoic as ever. Why not Viral? Ah, because I chose not to. Also because the, uh, what do you call them? Angel and Thrax of Wheat Corrosive. That's the main reasons. Yeah, it just it just works out for this. Alright, let's go. I said, let's go. Thank you. Sweep, we're here. Let's get popping. Grab all of that. Let's grab all this. Where's the rest of it? Here we go. Yoink, 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 yoink. <laughs> she says, in retrospect, engineering vice class to float was a mistake. Yeah, no shit. No shit on that one. Also, let's see, what is this? Abilities use their energy and cast faster. Oh, well, you don't have to tell me twice on that one. Well, this might be one of the dumber things I've done. Yeah. It's completely pointless, but you know what? Alright. So I spat at myself with that. <laughs> um, aren't they weak to radiation, not corrosive? Ah, uh, good point, actually. The angel might be weak to radiation. It's the... Uh, just the Thrax, which are weak to corrosive. I might be the wrong way around there. Thrax are weak to corrosive, but yeah, Angels might actually be radiation. My bad. I just use Glade Prime and it works. You know. Glade Prime go burr. What's new? Was a 
dormant boy agent. Now it's not dormant anymore. Is this gonna fill up already? There we are. Alright, where's that angel that someone just summoned? This way. What? Oh, right. Yes, it did that thing. Uh, let's see. Weak to radiation. Yep, you're right. Also, when its armor is removed, it's actually weak to blast, which is ironic, given I just switched off blast. But there we go. I'll just let them deal with the angel over there. I will grab all of this fighter blast and get this mission very shortly and swiftly done. As you see, the Grozer Peak still burns through these guys because they're low level. We don't need to worry. Did I not pop that fully? God damn it. I need to get some more of this stuff. I need more Void Juice. Put into the Juicer. Still need more Void Juice for the Juicer. God damn it. A number would be nice on the UI to let me know if I got enough or not, but you know, you're just going to roll with it. There we go, and now we need to deal with the two nasty nasties. Because somebody was spawned all the way over here. Well, that's one less void and they're dead. Alright, we can leave. We're done here. Absolutely location. done here. Is there a dustbin or trash can or whatever you want to call it on the way out? Anywhere, maybe? Just one? Just one trash can, that's all I'm asking for. I have no idea if they are here or not. I'm just going to head to the exit. Yeah, I don't think there's one on my way, chat. Or if there is, I'm blind to it. Let's go. Um. Um. Guys, can I come in, please? Guys, I'm not in the lock. I'm not in... Okay. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, yep. Bug frame do be. How? Yes, that's how. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, during that mission, I did not notice. Unholy Moondog. Oh, boy. Okay, well, that's another redemption of the VIP list. I did not even notice that one there for a second. Uh, Unholy Moondog. Redeeming VIP. Joining the very elitist of crews. Unholy Moon Dog. Bam. There you are. You got your new lovely diamond badge joining Cosmo right there. Which means I need to up the price a bit. Sorry to hit your mid-mission. Ah, it's fine. You wanted to get in there before someone else did. You know, someone could have stolen it right there and then. Someone could have stolen it. Possibly, maybe, unlikely. So. Uh, I need to increase this price. Someone's suggesting 1,000, 100,001. I could do that. Uh, only 5k increase? Mm. Only 5k? One of three cases, Cosmo. Ah, what do I do here? Keep trying to save up for it, it keeps running away. Well, it means you're just not watching the stream enough, Ladybug. It just means you are not watching the stream enough. In fact, if I do the... Can I watch time someone else? Can I put your name into the watch time command? I can, yeah. Five days of watch time and you're still not VIP. I don't know how that works. Uh, <laughs> fair enough then. <laughs> fair enough. Okay. Go figure. Alright, now I'm now I'm really curious. How long has Unholy Moondog been watching? Watch time Unholy Moondog. Uh, they've been doing it for eight hours, uh, eight days, twenty-two hours. There you are. That—that's the issue then. They've been watching for a few days more than you. That—that'd be the difference. Orion, thank you for the hydrate. <sighs> Chiards. All right. Uh, so I need to set the price. It's got to go up. That's the rule. Someone redeems VIP, it goes up in price. So. I'm going to make it all ones. 
in honor of Barcode Farm. One 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 one. There we are. Hundred eleven thousand one hundred eleven in honor of Barcode Farm. That is the new vi VIP cost. Alright, we need to do a one more run of the flood, and that should get this one ticked off. Ambient for the last half hour stream, chill time? Sure, sure. I mean, we've got a bit more than half hour, but yeah. Let's switch over to the ambient list, shall we? I'll just turn up the audio of that one a little bit. There we are. That's all up and running for you. I mean, he tried. He, he tried to stop me, he just failed miserably. Alright, no shooting. More grabbing. My role here is Vita Blast. We grab this bit here. I hear a Cephalon Malika console's accolade thing, Bidgey. And I'm not gonna grab it, because I got other things on the mind. Specifically this. Oh, Zom, that's just dirty. That is dirty. Zarta's Whisper, Latum, with Garuda. 30 extra slash rocks. Really now? I mean, that that is obnoxiously strong at that point. What the hell are you fighting? You need something that strong. What on earth are you fighting that could possibly mean that much? <laughs> oh, speaking of angels, someone's born in an angel. We'll into it. I will just uh, make sure this ship don't go topsy turvy. No, brother, no, 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 no. We, we don't need to nerd out over what a barcode is. Okay, a barcode is a series of vertical lines. That's all everyone cares about, really. In barcodes, we're not we're not signing up for the barcode nerd magazine .com. I'm quite happy just having a bunch of ones for the barcode on the uh, VIP. That seems sufficient to me. Alright, take care, Vlad. I'll catch you around. Guys and gals as well, remember to uh, enter it on the plaque giveaway. We got that running again as per usual, so exclamation mark tickets get in with a chance to win it there. Doesn't matter what platform you're on, anyone can join in. Unless I've told you otherwise. And if you are banned from joining it, then sod off. <laughs> otherwise, yeah. Come on, fill up. Down. I need more juice. More. So engineers were by definition nerds, but that's the thing, I'm not an engineer, brother Oni. I'm a Kengineer. I am certainly a nerd, but I'm not a barcode nerd and I'm not an engineer. I can understand Google getting confused. It's like, oh, did you misspell something, bro? No. No, no, no. Where is this one? There he is. Alright, cool. We're good. We're good. We can leave. We can leave. Which way is to leave? Leave is this way. Ta-da! Mission successful. I'll just blow up the screen now. It's fine. Nightwave? 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 Nightwave. There we go. Awesome. Another one completed. Let's see what it now recovers. Something new for me. Something positive, I hope. Uh, kill Profit Taker. Why does it want me to go down to Fucking Fortuna? Oh my god. I guess we're killing Profit Taker. 
I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's, it's Profit Taker. It's not the hardest thing in the game. But, yeah, I guess, uh... Profit Taker. Let's head down to Profit Taker. You can make me carry? Alright, okay. Chill. Is to get a bounty out of it? True, there is that as well. It counts as a bounty. Uh, where is it? There we go. I'm hoping this build works still. Hoping I haven't broken it in any way. I uh, also need to make sure that my Necromech is appropriately set up. So, Morsey needs to be on radiation. Yep, Archibex needs to be on corrosive. Yep, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right, let's reinvite the uh, squad peeps. Uh, I love how this is not in recency order. It's in uh, <laughs> alphabetical order, so I have to remember. It's Som, I think it was Grumpy popped out, so it's Karakop and Cephalon Rage. I think that's the group we had. I need to find a locker somewhere still. Yeah, I'll get around to it. I'll get around to the locker, don't you worry. That's all fine in there as well. Who are we missing? We got... We're missing Zom. Zom? You still alive or is your uh, computer blown up again? Because I used a Bubonico. I mean, there is a distinct possibility. That gun is not quiet. Ah, there they are. It's all good. Alright then. Now I got Motan for my operator and switch account. Need to work towards hunting Eidolons. Oh god. Have fun with that. Have fun with that. <laughs> Alright, down to Fortuna we go. We head down to Fortuna, activate the uh, mission, and go do Profit Taker. I have not got a hardcore optimized loadout for this, but my loadout is sufficient that it can get the job done without pissing me off, which is the main thing really for me. If it doesn't piss me off, it's good enough. Alright, Profit Taker, Bounty 4. There we are, two, three... Zom's probably still loading into Fortuna, we'll give him a sec. Measure, Rhino, Chroma, Lavos, yeah, it should be fine. Click our way through all of that, and out we go. Do you need to be rank 5 to do Profit Taker? Rank 5 with Fortuna, yeah, the uh, Solaris United, yes. No getting around that, I'm told. You just have to get there. <clears throat> there we go. Karakop, there we go. Oh, is anyone else here? I don't see him. Such a newbie, you feel bad about it? I don't feel bad about being new. There's nothing to feel bad about there. You're not competing against anyone else, you're just playing the game. What's there to feel bad about? I guess if Raw still does buff Necromex, I'll be honest, never looked into it. Never looked into it. I don't know if many Warframe abilities or any of them for that matter buff Necromex, so... Don't know. Alright, if only I knew what damage... Oh, I know I have Blast. Play Prime go Ver. There we are. Cold? Uh, do I have that on my Epitaph? Nope. Do I have it on my Zenith? Nope. Viral! Oh, I do have that. Someone switched it to Toxin. Which I once upon a time had on my Glaive, but I switched my Glaive over to Corrosive, didn't I? Damn it. Speaking of Corrosive, there we are. And now it's Heat. I have on my Necromex, let's bring that out. Oh, someone got the heat. Let's get the legs. Leg one, leg two. It's kind of funny, you need to get the Gravity Mag to fight this, but I don't actually use the Gravity Mag now. I use the Necromex. It just skips the whole Gravity Mag requirement. 
Alright, out come the Bylons. I did not want to get back into the neck. I wanted this. No, oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't got the uh, damage buffs on this, so uh, not doing as much damage as I would like to fix that. I said it would be better if I cared to try and make it better, but I, I just don't do this enough to warrant that. Alright, impact. I have a teeny tiny bit of impact. <laughs> Do I have more impact on something else? I didn't press that button. Oh, it's puncture now. My puncture is terrible. Is it better on this? No. Magnetic. Where's my magnetic? Do I not have magnetic either? Oh, that's terrible. This looks insane. Yeah, it's a bit of a hectic fight. Gas! I don't think I have gas. I was wrong, I do have gas. And I have slash. Ooh. That mag proc? Ah, mag procs are nothing. Radiation! Oh, I do have radiation. Excuse me, Fred. Alright, wrong button. That one for radiation. Electric. I'm gonna hope someone else has that one. If I could just stay in my mech now. Last. I didn't even press that one. One tap the blast stage, yep. There we go. Took it down to here. That's now going to send out pylons. Yep, there we are. Switch into that mode once again. I know I've got the Zenith, but honestly, it's just not built right enough for this yet. There we go. We need to do some more damaging here. Cold? I don't think I have cold. Viral... I have on Zenith. There we go. Do some viral and stuff. Toxin, I no longer have because I messed up my play build. My companion is definitely dead this time because companions do not survive the AoE bullshit this hour it has. No one's got toxin, I guess. Can I? Please! Switch to operator so I can pop that. Thank you, corrosive. Oh. Puncture for a bit. Don't I have better on the epitaph? I do. Okay, we're back to that. This is not in any way the fast way of doing it, but I don't intend to speed run. There we go. And we're good. Get to her backside. This is where she poops out the good stuff. Visual effects spam on this fight always gives you a headache. Yeah, there is a lot of everything happening in this fight. And that's why I bring Lavos. Because Lavos just doesn't care. All that stuff going on, and Lavos just goes, yeah, but... Easy tank. You bugged and can't go into your frame? Well, that's not fun. Alright, I should get out of here now. It's about to blow up. Uh, which way is it? Probably this way, because Karakop's Cop's gone this way. And we all know that Korokop is a master of not dying. The satellite is continuing to overcharge the orb. At this rate, in a matter of seconds... Come on, Zom. You'll find your way over it, I'm sure. There we are. You have the soft chill music while this is happening, says so Ladybug. Yeah, it's a bit of a juxtaposition. Still feeling a bit sore, but that's always a day that ends in a Y. We're all here, we're all alive. Uh, Zom didn't die. We'll probably 
bring them out in a second. Oh, and he wants to switch us over to a different type of music again. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. Let me find that listing. There we go. There we are. Quills don't make mistakes, and there's always an agenda. Always. <sighs> That's what I'm afraid of. Superlative work, as always, Elkwelder. Thank, Thank you very much, business. See you back in Fortuna. Yeah, I've never actually caught the entire text line before. I've kind of always just left. Or at least the last time I caught it, I didn't pay enough attention. There we are. We got all our bits and pieces. We got a whole bunch of credits. It's all good. 15 minutes was fine. It's pretty slow. That wasn't 15, though. Wait. Six minutes is actually okay. Why did you say 15? Huh? Was that 15 minutes from your request? I don't get what the 15 is for. The music. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, it's got a short cooldown, so people can fight over it. If you really feel the need to. Uh, Nightway, let's see, what's next on the docket? Destroy three Necromec Vault Guardians. That's more fun than these two. That is definitely more fun than these two. Zom, why didn't you use the map to fast travel? You can just use the blink pads to teleport. Uh, forklift driver said, just wanted to ask this, I have no idea, but it's plus damage, plus multi-shot, minus impact, uh, high roll on Bibonico. Bonico, damage. You can do better than pure damage, surely. You can do better than that. Switch up this build real quick. Bibonico. No, oh, Bibonico's got crit stats. You don't want crit stats, not pure damage. Because for pure damage, you can get, uh... Your primary arcane. You don't need to pull damage on uh, on that there. As for minus impact, I mean minus impact is minus impact, but it doesn't look like it has enough impact for anyone to really care about. Um, oh, okay, it's got impact over here, but not on the radial. So it's okay, but honestly, the plus damage, the days of that being a good stat are gone. The days of that being a good stat on primaries and secondaries is just gone. That's the way I see it. Alright, back to Lavos, but this time we're not going to property take, we're just going into normal stuff. I'm going to switch out the Bubonico at this stage for me Thilmin. Am I? Mm, no, for my Tenora. Tenora? Tenor Envoy. Not Tenora. Definitely not Tenora for this. Ah, uh, yeah. Crit chance, crit damage, multi shot. That's a pretty good shout there, Forklift. That's a pretty good shout as far as I can see. I mean, that covers most crit based weaponry anyway. Why do I have two formans? Because one of them is unformed for testing purposes. And the music's being weird again. I don't know why it does this sometimes. Alright, let's bring everyone back in. Let's make sure we get everyone in the squad, and then we'll drop down to the Necrolisk. I have lost track of how much standing I've gained with the uh, old Nightwave system, doing all of this, but hey Oh, hang on. Up, 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 up. Oh. I'm dropping if anybody wants in. Okay, fair enough. So there's a spot available if anyone would like to join instead. Ninety percent of good ribbons are just crit. Yeah, because ninety percent of weapons that actually care for ribbons want crit, because crit is actually surprisingly difficult to add onto a weapon. You get like a couple months, and then that's it. Ribbons are a good source of unconditional extra crit, especially crit damage. Crit damage is really hard to come by. Imagine if Fulmin Prime was actually just dual Fulmin. Can you imagine? That's the way they make form in Pride. You just akimbo it. That'd be silly. What fun? Yes, there are bounties. All right, Vault Guardians. That's uh, this isn't it. Let's do it. I've filled there with two informants. It'll be kind of ridiculous, yeah. 
It would be kind of ridiculous. Much has been hidden from us on Deimos. The old ruins beneath the surface must surely contain the deepest and darkest secrets. Find a way to get inside, and the Necroloid will... This is reminded, guys and gals, as well. Uh, at the end of the stream today, we'll be doing a raid over to another stream. Because... Uh, instead, we've got the video coming out. So, technically, as much as I can't raid a video... I'm pushing you guys that way. That's where we'll be going at the end of the stream today. So if you're wondering about any raid happening, not this time. But there's still going to be the plan giveaway if you want to get in on that with a ticket. Exclamation mark ticket for a chance to win it. Alright, let's get some bait. Let's grab some bait. One. Two. Three, four, and everyone else got the rest. Excellent. Again, I know I could use blink pads across this, but honestly, the map is so small, there's just no reason to. Wait, activate. Thank you. The vessel while it is this is bound to now, there's no lockers around here, is there? I'm definitely not wrong in saying there's no lockers on open Deimos, right? I mean, surely not. No, it's the Alright. Alright. I know radiation isn't the most meta damaged idea, but it's just what I have on the Warzy. I don't mess around with it, it works. It still kills. Although not that thing. For that thing I've got. Motherfucker. Oh, Alright then. <laughs> There's me about to do exactly that and beat me to it. Alright. Come on, charge shot. There we go. Ah. Oh, he's like that. Okay. This seems really tough against radiation. And especially these ones. That is a far more effective way of doing it. As is that. Alright, let's grab this out, and as he says, throw it at the monster door. Hop on over to location, which is of course just over here. I don't know why that bait making station is situated where it is, but how it goes, I suppose. Put this in the right location. I still don't get as well why the bait throw can fail. Like, if your teammate or someone just happens to run in front of you at the moment you throw it, game goes, oh, you missed. Well, now you're going to have to make another one. Sit through that timer again. It's like, who, what? Why? Why do we need to make it have a failure state? We're just throwing it at the door. It's only happened to me twice, but both times I've missed. It's just annoyed me. Both times it's been hitting someone else. I'm like, oh, for God's sake. Not a benefit to my gameplay. Didn't know you could miss. Yeah, it's very rare to have happen. I've seen randoms do it like twice ever. I've done it twice myself ever. Once early on in Deimos, and then once by pure chance, just after explaining to my friend that it can happen, he then ran in front of me as I threw it, and sure enough, it happened. It happened. One of those things, I guess. Strongest local All right, Slash of Vault tonight with Challenge. Just got back from my morning coffee. Not sure what you're up to. Yeah, it's one that I've not done for a very, very long time. So now we're doing it. I'm recovering all of the ancient ones that I just skipped over. And we're getting those sorted now. There's a good thing about leaving Nightwave till right now. It fills up a full three hour stream. <laughs> it does work in that regard. And we're good to pop out. Good to pop out. 
Which is this way, isn't it? Yeah. How did I get stuff on that? Just a little further. You're almost through the icky infested bits. The ruins await. There is a guardian here. Alright then, you there. You will need to destroy Prepare to, to evaporate. Can I press the correct button, please? The guardian of the vault Here we are. Oh, it's already dead. You must defeat it, Tenno. I pressed the wrong button and then whilst I was in the animation of casting my three, sure someone else kills it. Well, Zom's got a good handle on this, it seems. We can pretty much just leave this to Zom. There we are. At least I got that one. Noish. Objective complete. Walking amongst us, the once and future badass. Looks like it used to bug when non host threw it. Oh, fair enough, that too. Uh, looks like someone's already left the ruins. And you know what? We don't need to stick around here. We've done the night wave. The full rewards aren't actually all that valuable to uh, high level players, so I'm happy to leave. Can I exit? That'd be great. Thank you. Yeah, Zom's powerful. Zom is a very high-level powerful player. Do not be shocked. They know what they're doing. And you know why they know what they're doing? Because they're part of this amazing community. You stick around here, you're bound to pick up a trick or two. Or in Zom's case, like about 50 of them. They are powerful. They are deadly. Or like the Latum Garuda strap? Well, yeah, because they're powerful and deadly. They realize that putting together all of the most deadly things is how you win. You remodded your Latum for radiation? That'll do it. Zom Prime. <laughs> Zom Prime, yeah. Yeah. Zom's good. Zom is damn good. You see why they're a mod here? They know what they're doing. Ah, oh, look at that. Nubbler. Another rank up. What have we got now? Um, complete a mission with only a single pistol and glaive equipped. That's easy. That is easy. I could probably get that done in the time it takes Zom to load back into the orbiter. Give me a sec here. So uh, let's get rid of you, let's switch you over to Lex Prime, just to be absolutely certain. Grab a Wukong, grab a Locker whilst I'm at it, good shout, good shout. And let's go to Phobos, Skirash. Link in your list, this. The game just says complete a mission. Jeez it. We received intel that somebody vital to enemy operations is here. Find them and capture them. Whoop. Almost. Bye mate. Bye mate. Mission complete. The captain has been escorted to the Ah, uh, let's get out of here. Well See if I can figure out a locker location along the way. Really? Not one in there? Not one in there, okay. Now don't do this to me. Don't hide all the lockers out of line of sight from me. Don't do this to me. I know there are lockers. Where are they? Here we go. A little bit off the beaten path. And it's getting job done. Easy peasy. And that's how you do two night waves in one mission. <laughs> Minute six seconds, not my best, but I did have to find a locker. Easy peasy. Alright, let's see what is left on the docket. 
what else can I do so I can avoid having to do the stuff I don't want to do? Uh, I can do nightmare missions. That's doable. That is definitely doable. Let's bring back the crew. Let's bring back this squad of doom. Was it Karakop dipped out? No, it's Gorilla dipped out, wasn't it? Yeah, no, wait. I can't remember. I'm just going to send invites. Oh, several rages there. Okay. You know what? If you want to be in, send me a message. I'm losing track of who. Karakop dipped? Okay, Karakop dipped. My bad. Sorry, Karakop. My bad on that. Uh, let's see what we got next on the nightmares. Let's see what other nightmares are available. If I can do the quick ones, that'd be great. That that is not a quick one. Yeah, no. You a quick one? Exterminate. Quick enough. That is quick enough. Here we go, grumpy bats. All right, let's just go delete everything. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm gonna. I'm just going to piss off every enemy in the entire area. That'll do. Oh, and, uh, Zenerik, because why not? Yeah, want to do a very low level exterminate quickly? Well, bring Limbo. Death detonation mode should be fine. Grumpy Pants has left the squad. What? Get in here, what are you doing? What are you doing? You just sent a message saying you wanted to be here. Honestly, lad. There we go. Probably in a relay or open world. Alright. Come on. Let's do this nice and quick. It's only on the lowest of levels that uh, Limbo works this well. But on the lowest of levels, where they have basically no hit points. I mean, this is just cheating, isn't it? We get Blaze Miss, you'll be mad. Fair enough, I hope we get Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I hope we get it. Do I still need lockers? Nope, that's all done now. Just needed the one last locker and that is all sorted. Hundred and eighty kills is quite a bit for a low level mission, actually. Oh look at it. There we go. How many of those do I get? 163, not bad going. Let's get a few more whilst I'm here. And a few more because I ran into a box. And a few more because I felt like it. And a few more because it's November. Ah. Uh, 215 kills in uh, one and a half minutes, Limbo. Yep. Ed stupid. Yeah, Equinox is another one you can do it with. But uh, Limbo is just all... It's just memeing on him. It really is memeing on him. Alright. Did we get Blaze? No. Oh. Oh well. Let's see what the next quick mission is we can do. Now you want to build strength limbo? This is actually 40% strength limbo. What was the challenge of that mission? Uh, death detonation. Yeah, 40% strength because part of the damage is just enemies entering the rift take damage. And then there's the other part from the actual boom. Ah, uh, well, we might as well just, yeah, no shield mode. Sure, why not? Also loads. Let me go grab something that appreciates that a little bit better. Where is it? I thought I had a no shield mode build. I break it? Ah shit. 
broke it. I broke it. No memes. I, I had an Umbral Pilgrim build. I must have broke it because I wanted to do something else. My bad. Yeah, it was a great smash of Limbo, which for very low levels also just kills them. It works, as you saw. It works. You are here on a capture mission. You must find, capture, and extract our target. Skip past all those enemies, because we don't care about them. This is just a capture. It's not like a relic fisher where we have to do something else. We just hit that person with one of the strongest melee weapons. No, the strongest melee weapon in the game. Absolute overkill for Earth. And then we leave. Because why spend a long time doing a mission that you can do in just a second? And I'm gonna mess my jobs. I've done it. Ugh. I keep on getting stuck on terrain, it's throwing me off. No! No, I want to stay ahead. No! No! Beaten. Beaten. Ah! Also, I brought far too much health to this mission. <laughs> About 300, 340, then my carrier, 1280, myself, and 2000. It's just, just a little bit overkill. Just a little bit. Not first or last? Oh, that's rude, Crockery Pants. That's rude. Hey, bro. I wasn't the first content creator. Are you calling me uh, bottom of the list? That's rude. Yes, I'd be uh, intentionally obtuse on how I interpret that. <laughs> Mr. Rudel Strudel over here. All right, let's see what we got next. Sabotage. Uh, it's, it's quick enough. I want to see if we got better going around. Uh, is this our point? Okay, yeah. No. Sabotage it is. Sure, why not? I've, I've, I've seen the light. I've seen the light. Let, let's do the sabotage. That'll be quick enough. Don't forget Lua. Yeah, I'll check Lua in a sec. I'll check Lua in a sec. Seen the light that looks like fire? Yep. I mean, it is the uh, simplest way of obtaining light, really. Set fire to an entire ship? Why not? I need you to the squad you imagine Spire be quick? Yeah. Yeah, not having just general everyday randoms, but proper peeps in this community? Oh, yeah. Spy would not stand up against us. I'm almost keeping pace with that bloody Wukong. Okay, now I am no longer keeping pace with that Wukong. I got stuck on terrain, which is not something that Wukong has to worry about. But for a while, I was kind of keeping pace. Oh, I stand on the wrong side. I'm not going to do the uh, the meme today of turning off the lights, because that takes longer. What does Vampire Mode Nightwave do? Your health constantly drains. And kills will give you uh, health back. That's what it does. Ooh, okay, stuck on terrain and then jumping the wrong way. God damn it. Here's me trying to be a bit fancy. And it's all going wrong. There we are. But uh, we got Ice Storm. Oh well. What was everyone running there? We had a Rhino, Gauss. Of course, I wasn't going to beat Gauss and Wukong to the extraction, was I? That boss should not be beating them too. <laughs> Alright. Next up on the list, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Let's check Lua. What have we got over on here? We have got defense, and that it does not exist. Uh, Serres, what have you got for me? 
Interception, didn't hear of it. Over here, Ganymede, Disruption, no bueno. Europa, Capture, thank you very much, let's go. Got to run for real now? Alright, Grumpy Pants, you take care. Yeah, Bella, it's a time mode, it's a timer, and you have to get kills to keep it up. Whereas Health Drain is, uh, sorry, Vampire Mode is Health Drain. But you can fix that with your healing. Catch your own, Grumpy. But a good chunk of Nightmare Mods are worthless. I mean, they have their uses. Maybe. Somewhere. Someone. I don't know. Up we go. Oh, come off it. I got stuck up there? These damn tile sets, man. They might qualify for hitbox porn, but goddamn. Do they catch you at the most inopportune moments as a result? Hello, Mr. Target, dude. I have a laser beam of electricity. How are you doing? Not very well, apparently. What the hell that was? It looked like it just kind of put a medal on my chest. <laughs> Yeah, it takes skill to be able to maintain Lavos' speed in this, uh, this manner. It takes skill. Unfortunately, I do not have that skill. And so that's why I keep on getting stuck on terrain all the time. <laughs> Wait, is this waypoint wanting me to drop down? It is. Okay. Bonky as ever. Good old Corpus Ice style set. And we leave. Oh. Arcane Consequence for the win. Yeah, Nightmare Muds do come across as mostly earlier game stuff, really. Mostly. Because, like, reload speed, punch through on a shotgun, it's going to be a more easier... or uh, more easy means of getting some punch through. And then also having the reload speed on it. So it's, it's kind of a bonus there. But... There's not a huge amount of weapons that are going to care about that too much. A number, but not a huge amount. Right, what have we got next then? Um, Void doesn't have Nightmare Missions. Saturn. Assassination. Sargus Ruck. Pass. Desdemona. Sabotage. Submersible. Ah, but it's submersible. Could be a pain. Ah, sorry. Let's do it. Let's do it. Whereas whilst it loads, I'm just going to take a peek at the others, or I can't because it's reloading. Does it show up here? Actually, I think it shows here, doesn't it? Ah, there we go. There's there's the list of them. Oh, well, look at this. Capture. I saw an exterminate in there. Not a lot of good ones. Am I intentionally not using any list of alerts? I forgot it existed, Elliot. I forgot it existed. Which fury was that? Seeking fury. Void does not have missions? Does it? Oh, I thought it didn't. That's what I know. I've only been playing this game a couple thousand hours. What would I know? <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes on that one. Yeah, I've, Lotus, I honestly, I don't care about the caches. There's nothing of value in there. Someone who's played this long. Uh, that waypoint is being a bit of a dick. Yeah, that waypoint is definitely being a bit of a dick here. Hold on. There we go. Oh, of course, Titania just burst in the head. Yeah. If I had wings, I could do that too. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. This freaking tile. How, what? How? Here. Oh, cry out loud. That wouldn't damage it. Whatever. There we are. Start the pumps. Oh, it's this sabotage. I forgot how this one worked. Because I genuinely avoid it most times I can. I should not be doing it like that. What am I? Oh. 
chat. I might just make this my last one. I'm clearly losing it. I'm clearly just losing it, chat. So if you haven't grabbed yourself exclamation mark ticket yet, you really should do now. I'm clearly just absolutely on the point of losing it. <laughs> And the Amprex is still a good gun. For anyone curious, it's still a good gun. I mean, just look at that. Who needs AoE when you've got a chaining laser beam that chains off the dead bodies and just wipes out a small cluster for you? But my rest, well, thank you, Gorilla. Let's just zap up all of that lot there. Bumping process nearly complete. Excellent. Now we need to drop down here. Nice, lovely, long exit animation. Okay, it's not that long. I am nitpicking. Oh. Okay. Um, sure. Wait, have I gone the right way? I have. I just happened to come across a resource cache on the way down. That works. Yeah, that works. Don't, don't, don't get me stuck on doorways again, please. Please, game. Beg of you, please. So I'm doing the hacky. Ah, glass. I, uh, my greatest enemy. I think we're supposed to do a thing with this stuff that's upstairs, aren't we? Oh, someone figured it out. Good. Yeah. It's been a long ass while since I've done this one. Let's get out of here. Off we go. Ta da! Yeah, you're in a spy is a bit of a challenge. Y you can get used to it, but it's a bit of a challenge. Hey, Lethal Torrent, then. That's a good pickup. I already have it, of course, but that is a good pickup. Fire it and multi shot for pistol. Yas. Alright, last call, last call on the tickets if you want to get in on the Platinum giveaway. This is the very last opportunity for you to do so today. Very, very last opportunity for you to do it today. Zom, Zom Rage, thank you for joining me on those the very last missions there. Uh, have a good one. Whilst we're out as well, if you do enjoy the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button, you know. 12 streams a month. You get all this lovely, juicy Warframe content and the additional stuff on your Fridays. So, you know, why not? Support what you enjoy. I think that is... About time, I'm still seeing a couple of tickets coming in. I'll so give you just a moment there. Thanks, Chicken Foot. Uh, Chesley, you just got themselves a ticket. All right, I think that's that's the tickets lined up. I think that's the tickets lined up. Everyone's had a chance now. Let's close the entries on that. So, the winner today of the Platinum giveaway. The winner today for that 75 Platinum, whatever your console or platform B, is... Sleep Death. Congratulations, Sleep Death. You are the winner today. I'll be contacting you here on Twitch in just a few minutes after the end of the stream to get a hold of your Warframe username and platform. We'll get that sent on over to you. Sleep Death, congratulations. Hope you enjoy the extra moolah there. Now, before everyone uh, dips off, as I said, we're not running over to another channel today. We're doing something a bit different. We're doing something a bit different because... Uh, YouTube has finished processing the latest video. I did want to get this done for yesterday, but it is the longest video I put together. It's 23 minutes, 41 seconds long. So, uh, let me set this one to public. And there you go. We ain't raiding today. I'm, I'm raiding you guys manually, the old school way, way back when in Twitch days, even before it was Twitch I think, 
we're heading over, or rather, I would like you to head over to that video right there. The one that is in the... Oh, that side. Switch chat right there. It's live. It's gone live just in a second. So you're missing nothing on the stream here. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining in. I do hope you have enjoyed yourselves today. And I will catch you on the next stream on Wednesday. But that is all for me today. Have a good one. And check out the video. Bye.